Pumpkin Peasants Podcast with Ben and TJ, bringing you opinions of the news from an altered perspective. Fuck it! Ah, hey man, <laughs> you got a joint? Uh, no, not on me, man. I don't have facts to back this up. It'd be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> What the fuck you talking about, atheist? You know it's okay. You're nothing, it's okay. TJ. You're garbage. It's okay. I just want to no, no, be no, no, light. No, no, no. You're fuck garbage. Out, <laughs> and now, here are your hosts, Ben and TJ. We'll do it live. We'll do it live. Fuck it. Do it live. Fucking thing sucks. Hello, welcome to the Drunken Peasants uh, special Brett Keen edition, take two. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I should probably uh, explain a little bit here. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, we actually sat down with Monday, uh, on Monday with Brett, and um, we recorded about an hour and 30 minutes of uh, stuff with Brett, and uh, we had a system crash. We had a blue screen of death. Um, most unfortunate. Thankfully, we were able to recover the audio from that, and that uh, the thanks goes entirely to Brett for that. Yep. Very yeah, graciously you, sent Brett's, us that audio. Brett's you, duplicitous Brett. nature and recording well, everything. Maybe he was he was duplicitous. In, he was duplicitous in recording it, but he was gracious in sending in to providing us. I think it. Yeah, so thank you, Brett. That, Honestly, so, thank you yeah. for that. So um, yeah, um, I'm going to upgrade you, Brett. I'm going to say maybe you are the king of the manatee. <laughs> of the manatee. <laughs> yeah, I know so. Um, Brett, I actually, I, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna softball you a little bit to start with. I did have a kind of a curiosity. This is just a curiosity, because you know, there's there's questions that are kind of pointed. This one's not really pointed. It's just kind of a curious thing in my mind. Like uh, Trump, big Trump supporter, right? Yeah, you like Trump. So um, I was kind of wondering what 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 about Trump appealed to you specifically? Like when because you you were not a big anti Obama guy that I ever saw. Like not on your channel anyway. Maybe a few times you just had some criticism, but you weren't like one of these guys that was like, you know, uh, big anti Obama guy. Um, you know, you're not really part of that like factory worker type of base. So I just wonder like what appealed. Uh, what what was about Trump that appealed to you? Is it just a straight talker thing or what? Oh, so shit. We're not hearing you, Brett. Sorry. Oh, hold up. Yeah, we're not I'm hearing you. I have to turn your mic on. Oh, I'm sorry. I muted it. I didn't want to have oh, feedback. No. Oh, okay, you're good. Uh, you're good. We hear you now. I like the fact that he was against establishment. He was something completely mm-hmm. different out of uh, out of left field. He was like a surprise, kind of like Al Pacino. I, I enjoy the fact that he, he doesn't put up with the news media. He doesn't put up with any of the bullshit. He's talking about draining the swamp. That's what we've needed for years, just literally just politicians over and over. Hillary was everything that we should be against. So, so let me, if I'm, let me, uh, sure. uh, sorry, um, go ahead. If, if I'm trying to, let me just, if I'm encapsulating this right, you're basically saying you felt Hillary Clinton was just the total establishment candidate, total empty suit, and Donald Trump was, um, a, you know, a, a voice of authenticity, someone who did seem like he didn't come from within the system, basically, right? I also I also felt a little bit the same way about Bernie Sanders as well, but they screwed him. I think he would have actually had a pretty good chance. Yeah, we agree. I actually uh, I actually pretty much agree with you on this, uh, Brett. Um, I didn't actually go so far as to support Trump. I, I kind of thought they both sucked, but now that Trump's in office, my attitude is give the guy a fucking chance. Yeah, he know, hasn't we really even, don't we really don't know what he's gonna do. Sorry, he hasn't ahead, even man. taken office yet. So uh, I, th- I think all the people protesting now should shut up, and then if he gives them a reason to protest, then go ahead. I mean, it just sounds like Brett was kind of like a lot of people were kind of swept up with the populist message of Trump and the fact that he was a political outsider. Um, yeah, appealed, you know, whatever. I guess I can see it. Yeah, that's what I was. Uh, that's what I was asking about, and uh, that's that's interesting. Okay, so uh, that's just like I said to sate my curiosity. Um, I don't know if um, anyone else has anything they were like curious right off the bat. To say something, Brett, I, go, ahead. I find, go ahead, Brett. I find it interesting about these protests out here. Mm-hmm. Hillary said that it's unpatriotic and not American to sit there and fight against the polls. That the transformation uh, from candidate to president should be so clean. But as soon as she loses, what does her people do? Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, the thing about it is the politicians' rhetoric has never matched the people when it comes to that. Sure. I mean, it's the politicians are always saying, you know. We need to heal the bridge, and you know, of course, uh, you know, whether you win or lose, you know, once it's over, everyone just, wa- everyone who's a part of that just wants to be over. But there's always some protesters. Like, you remember there was big protests during when Obama was elected too. 
Mm-hmm. Um, maybe they weren't quite as out of hand. I don't know. But yeah. it's kind of because the people protesting because of Obama were all in their fucking 50s and 60s. The people protesting now are all in their 20s well, and 30s. Well, I, I said the same thing about them that I'm saying about these people. Ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, it, don't protest until he does something, and then, and then you know what you're protesting against. Right now, you're just protesting the idea of Trump as president. And, uh, Brett, I don't know if you know this, but I read this today. Um, of the protesters that were arrested in um, Oregon, in Portland, because some riots in Portland got really out of hand. About 170 people or something was arrested there. Uh, they said about half of them didn't even vote. Yeah, so it's like if you cared this much. Yeah, I mean, I mean it, it, to their, in, in fairness to them, I mean, they might be disenfranchised because they live in just like a solid blue state or whatever, and you know their votes are going to count for the same no matter what. Uh, but I think people in red states feel that too. I think it's very interesting that Brett decided to support Trump when he most recently has sided with SJWs like Jenny McDermott. Well, he's 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 praised uh, AIU too, though. That's true. Brett is Brett. Brett is ideologically all was, over uh, the Hillary fucking map. Person, so. <laughs> I I do like uh, some of what AIU says. I did not like his latest video to Andy uh, Andy Wart. I forget how to pronounce his last name. Sure, but I like the guy that he actually insulted. And I said, dude, that's that's bullshit. You can look in the comments and see that for yourself. Well, you liked uh, you. You actually threw a, a shouted out creationist cat and AIU in the same video, and those two. I don't know if you're they're, aware. They <laughs> just despise each other. Yeah, they hate each other's guts completely. Like really bad. Like, but whatever. Brett. Brett. Brett's. Hey, look. He. He's. He's mobile. He moves through the the, the ideologies. Uh, one would say swims through them. Like a manatee yeah. swimming through the weeds at the bottom of the river. You know? I mean, like even after ten years, Brett, you're like you're a hard guy to peg for. You know what? I mean, like do, it's hard to know. Like, do you really stand f- for anything, or is it? Are you just exploring interesting ideas? I mean, what what is what is it to you? I mean, like to to your mind, what is like the essence of Brett Keen and where Brett Keen stands on things? And like, what's your barometer? What's your yardstick? What's your internal judgment mechanism? I, I treat a lot of things the same way I treat music. If the song sounds good, I'll listen to it. If they got other songs that suck, it's like out the window. That's it. I mean, there's wisdom to that. It's a simple wisdom, but there's wisdom to that, sure. I can see it. Um, okay, but uh, I don't want to get too much into politics. It's obviously not what we're here for. But right. um, anyway, uh, do you want to get into watching videos, or does anyone have anything they'd like to ask Brett about before we Well, the we only do thing that? I want to add before we get Go into ahead. it, but before we, we get into uh, insulting the shit out of Brett... <laughs> <laughs> or insulting the piss out of Brett. Wait, however he's feeling yeah, that day. Yeah, yeah. Um, I will say I appreciate him coming back. Yeah. And uh, sending us the audio file and us working together. In in this, this weird thing that happened that nobody foresaw, Brett has been kind of cool. He hasn't made a big stink about it. He's willing to uphold his end of the bargain thus far, and I give the manatee credit where it's due there. For sure, but... We'll we got, see. We got we'll other look, issues, Brett. We got other problems. Look. Let's take a look at some other things. What do we uh, got? This is Bloody Bible. Are we going to listen to that first? Yeah, I guess we could watch that. Let's one. start with that. This is a good place, isn't he? Uh, this, well, yeah. It's okay. actually a good place to start, too, because it's uh, a video that Brett made back when he was an atheist. Right. So it kind of magnifies the difference between his p- opinion now. Well, hopefully he can clarify his positions a little bit now that he's here oh, with us. Oh, Brett, actually, before we move on, I noticed there's a website here. Uh, did you happen to see that if someone goes to the website on the on your book, it takes them to our channel? <laughs> Somebody bought yeah. GodHatesYou.org, dude. <laughs> You're, the DP fans, they always come in the live shows. They keep me up to date on everything. That's how I get all my information. DP fans. <laughs> well, they're kind of your fans, too, a little, even if they don't like you. I mean, what is this music? I don't know. Dramatic stuff. That's the way we like it. Yeah. It's not bad. Whatever. It's got a groove to it. Oh, wow. Damn, Brett. You look different there. All right. Dentures, Brett? Right here. That's fake teeth right there in the front. Yeah. (laughs) Crooked fake teeth. Cool. Okay. That's fake teeth. Yeah. All right. All right, rock on. It says that when you see a person who is naked or destitute, you know what? Fuck that. So can you pause st- it for a second, Brett? Can we can we get? You don't have your dad didn't punch your teeth out, Brett. I watched them fall out over the course of ten years. <laughs> I watched them, uh, you know, whatever. Like I'm not making funny. What people have bad teeth. You might be ashamed of that. That's fine. But nobody makes crooked dentures, Brett. These are fucked up teeth. Like my teeth are fucked up. I don't have dentures. You know. 
These are not dentures. I, I've seen pe- the dentures that you held up and showed us are straight and pearly white. These are coffee stained and crooked. I mean, nobody. All right. Do you want me to answer some of the Go teeth? Ahead, got, some of the teeth got knocked in. Some of them I actually had ended up swallowing during the process. Some of them were shattered. So they they did like a, I don't know if they're called crowns and then put them up there. It was done whenever I was young. Okay, okay. So you did have real teeth here then, though. These are not dentures. Yeah, in the back, but not in the front. The stuff that you see in the front that is wow. fake. I'm up right. So how? Uh, so you're saying that you had... Uh, partials? You had partials, and there's some crowns, maybe. Um, yeah. What happened to those, though? Now they ended up falling out. They told me that it would sooner or later have problems. Well, not sooner or later, but later on in my life that it would happen. They're, they were literally put in there with, like, some kind of glue substance i'm almost 40 years old now sure yeah understandable but uh, i most I, people don't have no teeth by the time they're 40 though that is true as I mean, well like, i mean i'm 36 you've, you've also I, lost the back teeth that you know there was no problem with those molars you know what so well, what happened to the teeth i will sit there and say this uh, no problem mm-hmm. the back teeth obviously you can tell by looking at me it didn't take care of my health whatever okay <laughs> do you think that every time i say one of these words uh, yeah, every time you use a keenism, man, just be ready for the ding, ding, ding. Situation, situation, situation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing it. Some like ship's well, coming into harbor, what dude. Seem, what seems most likely, though, Brett, you have to admit, from the perspective we're coming from, is that, in fact, it wasn't trauma or some blunt force trauma that caused you to lose your teeth. It seems more than likely that it was just the natural process of sugar and decaying. That yeah. they, they all fell smoking. Out. Let smoking. me explain to you why I don't buy your line of shit on this, Brett. My mother, uh, when she was young, was diving into the shallow end of a swimming pool and broke both of her adult front teeth on the bottom of a swimming pool. Broke them. Didn't break them out, but broke them. And she has two... Uh, crowns or whatever they're called. I don't know what they're called. Partials. Like Par- they're, no, she doesn't have dentures. Are they veneers? They're no, veneers. veneers. They went in and rebuilt her teeth. You know what I mean? And you can tell, like, if you look at the back of her teeth, you can see the metal work that they did. But it doesn't look like this. Like, these are just normal teeth, Brett, that we're looking at right here. And they're better off, uh, like, I, I, I kind of went hunting. Uh, if you look at a lot of your older videos, you were a toothy motherfucker. And those teeth are not, um, they're not perfect. You know, they're hum- They're normal human teeth. Your bottom teeth have a gap in a lot of your videos between the two of them. No, Nobody has dentures with a fucking gap built in. Like, it just doesn't, that's not a thing. Well, I've right? already said that not all of my teeth were knocked at the same time. Obviously, not back teeth and... So okay, uh, right. That's not what I'm talking about. Anyway, whatever. It's a long and sordid dental history. It dude. really is. <laughs> it's a long and sordid dental history. Let's focus on the Bible shit. All right. So this is Brett as an atheist uh, talking about the Bible. Um, let's take a look at some of what he has to say. It's because in Revelations chapter 2, verse 21 through 24, it actually states, my friends, that Jesus, whenever he returns, he will judge the churches. And he will judge those who believe in him based upon their works upon. as well as their faith. That is correct. Okay. Faith without works is dead. Okay. In this world, we see a lot of misery and a lot of pain go down. We can watch the news simply to see that there are a lot of people, a lot of women and children, as well as innocent men who are being hurt due to this war. There's a lot of people that are at this time. Wow, George Bush. This is Jr. like a Brett King documentary. Look at how he seamlessly fades into this his egotistical war. There are children in many different countries, including our own, that are actually starving as we speak. Been starving for years. There's people out there who have worked all their life. I noticed that this um, this element of your um, spiel. This, uh, you know, the starving children and the all the people who are, you know, destined, whatever. It, it, either way, you know, like you, 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 you use it to your purposes as an atheist. You use it to your purposes as a Christian. Sure, it seems to be a I common mean, is theme. It, is it more than just a prop to you? Is there something actually there? Do you have um, genuine feelings for the people who are suffering around the world because they don't have, you know, they want, you know, 
They need yeah. shelter. They need food. They need water. There are children out there starving and hurting. Does that really affect you as a person? Way on, way on your heart heavily, or are you just kind of flippantly using it as a, as a tool? When you're an atheist, oh look at all these starving children. Must be no God. When you're a Christian, oh look at all these starving children. We need Christ. I think you could be G man. Mm-hmm. Show me a child. Why well, I don't even think if the entire world were to become religious that it would all of a sudden bring a solution to all this. I don't understand why we spend so much war, money on war, and then we could easily sit here and take care of all the homeless and the hungry and sure. people that are suffering. My thoughts have not changed uh, when it comes not to profitable. this. I still, I still question a lot of things in the Bible, even as a theist, and I've made that abundantly clear. Of course, of course. Uh, but you, you've you made some pretty impassioned pleas over the years uh, but, but as ul- an atheist. Yeah, but ultimately, you know, you, you would say you are a theist and you would say you're, uh, I mean, you... you he said he has said that he was a Christian before. Yeah. I don't know if he's saying that yeah. now. Would you consider yourself a Christian? I did do, I, I did label myself a Christian for probably about a month and I it just, it wasn't fitting with me. I don't feel like I... A I lot go of things don't down. fit with you, though. Right, exactly. Like, like I so said, don't, I, don't you think like maybe that you do need more of a vetting process internally before you share these big revelations about yourself with everybody? Because it seems like a lot of times you roll out like, here's the new Christian Brett Keen, and then you know a month later you're like, ah, I don't really like the new Christian Brett Keen, you know? Or and then uh, well, there, then, was a, there was a point where you even flirted, kind of like it seemed like you maybe you were going back to the atheist side of things. You dyed your hair and you did like a few videos that even like the DP fans were kind of like, this is kind of cool actually. And he said he was questioning his beliefs at that point too. I, yeah. I know yeah. that you guys don't see what happens behind the scenes, but I got guys like um, Matt Slick, G Man, and and many Christians out there who constantly get a hold of me and try to convince me to just. Uh, go from being a theist to a Christian. And mm-hmm. I thought that Matt Slick put up a good argument and all this, but after thinking about it, I probably should have waited and hesitated before putting the video up. I don't fit the definition of I Christian. Mean, we, we've, 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 we've butted heads over that before, though. We've talked about the definition of a Christian, and we've I asked you uh, earlier on, probably a year or so ago, maybe a little more now, when we first had, we came on the DP. I wasn't even on the show yet. I was just a guest as well. And I asked you, I said, you know, do you believe in the divinity of Jesus Christ? That's that's not the problem. The problem is, his definition is to be uh, Christ, like the fellow teachings of Christ. I don't feel like I do well enough to actually label myself. But. I mean, does any Christian uh, f- completely follow the teachings? I, isn't that kind of the yeah, point but, of but Christianity, you, believe, is that you don't ever attain that goal? Yeah. You're never going to be Christ. Yeah, but do, do you believe in the teachings? Do you believe in the message behind Christianity? Do you believe in the divinity? I mean... Yeah, I just yeah. asked him that. Yeah, so... Yeah, I, so I, what, believe, I believe in Jesus Christ and what he did. I just don't and believe... That he, you be, no, well, do you believe that he was the son of God? Or yeah. that well, he was a vessel of Or God that he was a way. vessel of the living God on earth. He was not a man. He was more than a man. He was divinity. A made flesh you believe yeah. that so you're a yeah. christian i mean come on like it yeah i mean that that to me that to me is a christian but i mean like you know if you don't want to call yourself that whatever i mean I'd re- i'm really more interested in what you actually believe rather than what you label yourself but it's very hard to peg down brett like from the outside perspective looking into you it seems like it's very chaotic it's very erratic there's not a lot of fucking places for someone to like grab like the second you fucking grab something in, in one of your videos and the stuff you say it's like okay here's where he is and then it's like nope he's over there it's like oh shit i thought i knew where he was but now he's somewhere else and it kind of just leaves the one with the impression that maybe he's not anywhere yeah I mean, I'll, I'll be honest with you, Brett. My impression of you having watched you as closely as I have for 10 years is that you're a guy that doesn't really believe in much. And you kind of wear the suit of different ideologies to uh, maybe manipulate those ideologies, m- manipulate people that are true believers within the sphere of that ideology. But that would change. Like, I get the feeling that, like, if you could make a bunch of money being an atheist again, like if you saw a path and somebody went like, Brett... Dude, if you fucking come out as an atheist, you can make a bunch of money on YouTube. I have a feeling that if that was done privately, you'd do it. You know, I mean, I don't, I don't know if I buy that, though, completely, Paul, because, like I said, there was that time where he was flirting with it, and even a bunch of DP fans were like, you know, the content he's making is not really that bad. I actually enjoyed this. He had a sense of humor about himself, all this other Sorry. stuff. So it's almost like he was appealing to that new base, but then he pulled back. You know why he pulled back? Why? Because we stopped... Talking about him. We stopped talking about him. Remember, we were all See, like, you're giving, you're do you giving, feel I, like, I think you're yeah, ennobling we were, the man I'm not, I'm, that no, much. Look, I, I, I explained, I, I, I should probably explain this again. 
I explained this in the first episode. I'm going to explain it again here. My my quest in all of this is I'm trying to be kind of an advocate for Brett well, Keane. Okay, well, as his advocate, um, I want to remind you that at that point when Brett started getting positive reviews... Uh, our our mo was don't talk about Brett anymore. Don't give him any more attention. Right, because he's not talking Brett, about us. Now nope. you know that's an interesting thing to bring up. Brett uh, is your tumultuous relationship with the drunken peasants because, on one hand, it seems like you want to have this idea that we're your antagonist and we're out to get you. But on the other hand. When we do stop talking about you, it seems like you peasant. get more crazy than ever. Like, you're more... It seems like you kind of want our attention, but you don't want it. Like, you're very... Like, what is your feelings, Brett? If you could have it anyway, if you could wave a magic wand over our, our podcast and say either they're not going to cover me at all, or they're going to cover me all the time, or maybe, you know, what would you do? What would your choice be? Well, some days I, I feel really chilled and relaxed and everything's all good. But you, I don't know if you see what happens on my live shows. I get people coming in saying, oh, did you hear what these guys said about you? Did they do this? Right. The whole manatee fucking mm-hmm. situation. They scream and yell. I've even had yeah. people throw their dicks out, so it pisses me off. Sure. I've but never seen that. I've never seen the dicks. I've never seen it. Look, there's never a screenshot. Here's the thing. I don't believe that for here's a fucking I mean, look, I've seen, we've seen our fans come and bother you. But you know what? They bother us. I mean, I don't know if you watch our show that often, but like all the times we fucking sit down, like, oh my god, our fans are such dog shit. Look at them. Look at them do what they're doing now. Look what they're saying now. Guys, I've had to delete several hours Mm. or shows over and over because if you put a dick up on the screen, I allowed a dick to sit on screen for three seconds once, and I said, ah, YouTube may not give me shit. I left the video up there, and I ended up getting a strike. Mm. I've gone to so many hangouts, and I've seen so many hangouts. I've never seen someone pull a dick. I've got to tell you, dude, I'm incredulous. (laughs) Hold on, Brett. Give me one sec, and then I'll let you go ahead. Obviously, you get Paul. You say your thing, and I I ran Scotty in a while. I, I, I went through a period of time where i did nothing but hangouts on my channel and they were way more popular than the hangouts that you're doing now because they were on my channel where people actually watch and i never once in all of those hours at like dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens of hours worth of hangouts never once had somebody pull their dick out never had to go back and edit something so it seems a little spurious your claim that people just have their wangs out all the time for you well, I'll, I'll tell you what, you can hear the people sitting there laughing about it. Some of the DP fans that are in the room, they go, oh my goodness, the guy put right, his dick well, out. You, you, I, Brett, what, um, I, I want to say, like, get us, get us, if you, if you have that, if you have that, like, tell us where it was, give us a time stamp, give uh, us a fucking yeah. video. Uh, I'll well, look. I don't maybe maybe it'll happen. Uh, but I, I think uh, a, a I greater point, Brett, is that <laughs> in, in any sort of discussion or debate or online bullshit that we've gone through, I mean, look, it goes back and forth. It's not as if you're this innocent little butterfly that's just flying along and the drunken peasants are, these e- uh, uh, are you know, the evil, malevolent fucking cloud to fucking push you off the, you know, the edge. You know, this has been back and forth for years. And we don't control the actions yeah, of Yeah, we fans. don't control what they do as well. I mean, that, that goes without saying. Like, I, we, we've never, let's put it this way, we've never told someone, go whip your dick out to Brett. Nope. And nor, we, w- nor would we. Nor would we. No, I haven't heard you guys sit there and say that, but I, I did see some shows where you guys kind of incited uh, for people to come over, and I got Nazi symbols, all kinds of shit. People we raided my too. room. I mean, that's what I'm saying. But what I'm saying to you, Brett, is like, if you look at our chat. I know chat. you guys were just being silly and funny. Yeah, but, but go to our chat, the though. Whole deal like, up. But I, I'm willing to make a bet with you guys. Okay, I go ahead, guarantee make a bet. just one of you. Just mm-hmm. one of you attend one of my hangouts for 15 minutes, and I guarantee you're going to see a dick. I've been in your hangouts. Sounds like a good time. I've been in your hangouts, Brett. <laughs> I've been in your hangouts for hours at a time, so and I've never minutes. seen a dick. Paul, will, will you go there for 15 minutes and tell us? Yes, about I'll yeah. sit in a hangout for 15 there minutes, you and it, you'll probably, like, if I do see a dick, it'll be somebody that you, like, put up to a showing plant. a dick. <laughs> a, a, plant dick. Dick. a planted and if, dick. And if for some miraculous reason you don't see a dick, there'll be tons of people, pagans and Christians and people all the way down the line. <laughs> <laughs> that that I'm, not the, I'm not worried about that. Yeah, of course. Yeah, gr- good mix of people is good. We're talking about dicks being shown on your shit. Yeah. I've been in hours worth of hangouts with you, Brett. You and I have spent hours in Skype room or in like Skype rooms, uh, stick ham rooms and blog TV rooms. I mean, if I could tally up the amount of hours I've spent sitting in one of your fucking rooms, I'd probably cry. <laughs> and I've never seen a dick, not once in all those fucking years. 
You'll see some assholes too. I'll tell you what. They do some pretty. Well, I, I saw those all the time <laughs> when I was in the room. <laughs> oh, I see what you did. Uh, there you go. There you go. There you go. <laughs> All right, so uh, this video, no one, no one cares about the content of this video. Let's move on to something else. Um, I mean, we got a long list of shit we there. Got on a li- yeah, we, we know there were some interesting tangents, but but you know, no one seems to be talking about the Bible shit. Uh, so um, let's see, what do we got here? Mm. <sighs> oh, did we watch that one last time? It was on the search for Jesus Christ thing. We didn't. All right, let's take a look at that. That's a good well, one. Well, do you a, want to set this up, Paul? Do you want to ask? Go um, ahead. Well, th- there's a question. You've claimed to be a, a person who suffers from agoraphobia, and I think you still do claim that, correct? Mild agoraphobia, yes. Mild but, ag- agoraphobia. So yeah. you, th- you, you, you uploaded a video a long time ago talking about how you couldn't go into wide open spaces. As long as there is, like, something to balance. What happens is... Oh, is he all right? Okay. My what happens is my equilibrium ends up going loose and things get Oh, I'll I'll hold on. It's okay. Sorry. TJ just took he, a fat. He rip. does this to everybody. That's normal. So Don't worry. Yeah, just yeah, keep going. Just keep good. going. Everybody hears you. If I'm if I'm near fences or trees or things that are stable and everything that I can grab onto if I have this it kind of really vertigo. Me. I I don't know how to explain. I believe it. it's pronounced vertigo. Oh yeah, vertigo. However, however, I have, over the years and over time, I continue to push myself to go out into areas. I'm trying to get over the phobia. All right. Well, whatever. Um, it, I, I've known people with agoraphobia, and they don't go stand out in open fields and make long-ass videos. So let's take a look at this uh, video we've got queued up here called The Search for Jesus Christ by Brett Keen. Mm-hmm. You, you like to put your name on everything you do, don't you, Brett? You're very fastidious uh-huh. about everything is by Brett Keen. Well, you guys got it in your DP thing right there. Yeah, but we don't put everything like by DP. You know, I guess I mean? we do kind of. I mean, we don't do like, hey guys, this is episode this by DP. I'll just put by asshole for now. I mean, I'm sorry, Paul, but yeah, we do. do <laughs> we, we start every episode with this is drunken peasants number two, whatever, you know. So, sure, of course. I, mean, I guess like, you're right. We we do plaster our maybe, name all maybe over Maybe Brett everything. was ahead of the curve. Uh, no, uh, every marketer in history was ahead of the curve. Just put your name on yeah, it. Yeah, just slap your name on Like, well, Kiss. They slap their name on every fucking thing. You're right. Star Wars. Star Wars. I don't have that business mind, you, you know. You don't. Sorry. It's okay. It's all right. You're with people who do. <laughs> Why are your intros so long? I don't, think, I don't think Ben got this. Do you want this, man? It was or to it? irritate you guys. That's why the intros are that long. You know, but seriously, what's the point of this? We're we're like a, almost a minute into this. I mean, this video okay. was made right, well we before DP. Now, Brett, how old are you here? Hello, everyone. My name is Tony. How old were you when you were playing Tony? I have no clue. <laughs> Good shot of those crooked dentures again, too, by the way, there. This Do you want to uh, make any amendments to the... The custom-made crooked dentures. <laughs> custom-made crooked dentures story? No? Probably not. All right. Um, you've said your piece on that, I guess. Um, <laughs> but no, uh, you know, you don't really seem too agoraphobic I here. I don't know. Tell me that I need to find Jesus. Is this Was this part of your therapy? You do uh, realize I'm in a baseball field. There's a fence over here, trees mm-hmm. behind me. Sure. Okay. I'm so, not these kind of agoraphobics who are stuck in the house and shit where I can't well, look that's up. that's what agoraphobia oh, okay, is. Okay, so you're not one of those agoraphobic so agoraphobics. Yeah. Okay. I'm not one of those uh, overeaters that eats too much food <laughs> all the time. You guys know that Amendum is also agoraphobic, but he can yeah, walk. Yeah, and I don't, I don't see him making video. Yeah, okay. Okay, like, fine. Okay, so you're saying that it makes you uncomfortable to be outside your house, but you're not necessarily unable to do it. Okay, sure. is that what you're saying? It depends, on, it depends if I've taken medicine that helps me a little bit with this. Okay, sure. so you have medication. What is the me- it, would you divulge the med- what the medication is? or it's this medicine that helps relax. Medicine. Yeah. General uh, medicine. It's, a, it's probably a benzo. Yeah. It probably doesn't exist. Something like that. I'm sorry to say. But so I'm looking for him. I'm armed and dangerous. Yeah, it probably doesn't exist. I don't know if this guy's dangerous It's called uh, Jack Daniels. Jack Some Daniels, yeah. Tell me he's really Wine nice coolers. Guy. All right, so uh, since the fucking since we're throwing out drinking accusations, Brett, um, like a lot of people have been telling me lately, and I, I never really even saw it until recently, and maybe it's just because I've just, just been watching you for so long I didn't see it, but um, you, you drinking a lot, Brett? 
No. This is, this is an intervention, I, Brett. But I have done me some uh, a little bit of drinking. Uh, I, I can imagine you uh, have, but like recently, more than a little bit. I'm uh, talking about. We right. make fun of the the the. This is just a root beer situation all the time because you're sitting here drinking an alcoholic root beer. Oh no, no, wait, Paul. That was his brother's fault. Remember? Oh, that's right. His oh brother yeah, my did brother that. gave me a root yeah. beer. I don't know. But then you know, in recent videos, I've seen you sucking down wine coolers. I mean, when you came on on election night, you were sloshed three sheets to the wind on fucking Jack, on uh, uh, Captain Morgan's or whatever it was you were over there fucking drinking, which is fine. Uh, you know, yeah, I mean, we don't give a shit if you drink. We smoke yeah. weed, but like, yeah, we smoke why? weed. I mean, I drink too. So, I mean, Ben I drinks. Too. We all drink. We got Captain <laughs> there Morgan it right is. There. See, okay, so, so you answered confirm, the question. Confirm, all right. fine. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Can we go back to the pipe, too? Brett, you were smoking weed. Tobacco. Hey, if I could... All right. You know what? Hey, come on. No one smokes. He gave us us a little bit. Let's just fucking... (laughs) Let's be thankful for what we got. People, they say, he likes to kill people. He likes to hurt things. We're going to find out just in case I bring my, my little friend with me. So, Brett, what is this character you're trying to pull off here? Is this like a New Yorker? Or? It's Tony Montana. It's Tony Montana. Oh, yeah. okay. You actually, okay, I mean, it was so far off the mark, I didn't even imagine that's what he was trying to do, but okay. Trying. Hey. Hey, I'm not, crit- I mean, you're not an actor, whatever. Sure. I'm not. I was just curious. Looking for that fucking Jesus. Jesus, where is you? I don't see him in there. Where's the Jesus? I don't see no fucking Jesus. See, that's pretty good. I know who that is. I've been looking in this bush for at least two hours. I ain't found Jesus nowhere. So, Brett, uh, at the time you made this, uh, obviously even you, by the look on your face, realize that this sucks. It's <laughs> embarrassing. Yeah. Um, the point to be silly. Be an okay, I, I, I got it. I, I understand. I'm just wondering what the mindset was. <laughs> Paul, keep it together, dude. I just wonder what the mindset was. Like, what was what, were you? What were you saying with this? Like, are you just trying to say like there, you know, there's no Jesus, and that's you know, you're looking for him and he can't be found because he doesn't exist? Is that like the whole joke of the four minute video? Yeah, that's okay. pretty much what doing as non believer. I was just being silly, being an okay. asshole. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I get I can it. Get with that. I mean, I, I can get the. I mean, like, I don't think it's very good, but I don't think it's very agoraphobic either. But yeah, <laughs> whatever. I mean, you know, you, know fine. you got something nearby that you can grab on. At least I can grasp. I mean, there's something I can grab onto too, which is okay. That's what he's saying. He's just being okay. Fine. Um, it's kind of a belabored point. I guess it doesn't matter anymore because clearly this video is so long ago that any lessons you could learn from it are probably already learned or knowing you probably not learned. But I, um, I don't think there was a lesson to be learned. It was just me being a, an asshat. No, no, no. I'm just saying like, no. Uh, the le- you See, yeah. that, that proves you didn't learn. No, the lesson here is don't make a fucking boring ass four minute video of you walking around going, Jesus, <laughs> where are you? Like Jesus, I'm the here. <laughs> Yeah, this, saying, this would have been fine for maybe 20 seconds. Actually, oh, okay, like hold this. on, hold on. This this actually brings up a question for, for me to Brett. Um, Brett, like, what do you see yourself as? Because me, I'm looking at myself and I say, I'm an entertainer. Okay, that's how I identify. I'm, I'm an entertainer. I don't want to be a comedian because I don't always have to fucking have the pressure of, like, you got to make them laugh. Because <coughs> sometimes I don't feel like doing that. I mean, I'm a commentator, too. I would never say I'm a pundit or, like, a political wonk or something like that. But, you know... I feel like I'm a pretty sharp Dabble. commentator and a, a good entertainer. What are you? Don't really see myself as an entertainer or playing some, a, a character or whatever. I just um, when I when I first started doing YouTube, I didn't actually think anybody was going to pay attention. Anybody would actually give a shit mm-hmm. about what I was doing. But so, but what are you ex- now? Is what I'm asking you. What what if you have to slap a label on Brett Keen as like what are you in terms of what you're doing on YouTube? What is it? Is there a word? I I wouldn't know what to say about that. I'm just a, a regular guy, just paying drama my bills, pimp? take care of my family. That's it. Would drama pimp fit? Do you think? Um, drama. Drama, drama pimp. pimp, yeah. Could you, Scotty brought this up. Maybe Scotty can take the reins on this one about where Brett is in the drama. You know, uh, the thing that I think of is 
Brett, you know, a lot of times you you throw out stuff like, oh, these people are coming and attacking me, or these people are saying this about me, it, all, all these external sources, but you always seem to be at the epicenter of all of these things. Why is that? So if, if you truly are just being attacked unfairly, why are you always at the epicenter of all of this? Yeah, why like, does it always revolve around things you said or someone said that you said or you said that they said? Why is that if, if truly you have no involvement in it? From an external perspective, the common factor is you, yeah. right? So all this drama that you end up in, you claim you're a victim of these people are persecuting you in this way, but you're always there, Brett. You're always there in the epicenter of whenever something bad happens on the internet in our little community, if you can call it that, you're there. Lighter down. No, it's I pay attention to what people are saying. Wait. I just simply <laughs> respond. Okay. Yeah, so you are involved because if you respond, you are then involved because you're no, no, but no, no, no. That, 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 I'm sorry, that, that answer doesn't. That answer is no, no. I'm saying no, no. I mean, look, he, he inserts himself into the conversation, is what he's saying, which is so that is the truth. Okay, he is you know, engaging. I mean, but yeah, no, that's, that's just that's not true though. I mean, like Brett, you you manufacture situations uh, about individuals ding, ding. where Brett, individuals Taco Bell, ding. Ding. the Taco Bell ding too. Uh, he does that too. I was going to get to that. You manufacture these situations where. You're the persecuted fucking victim. You're the guy. Oh, you know he's oh, poor Brett, and everyone's piling on Brett. Well, a perfect example. I mean, like, but look, I mean, look, that's a personality type, Brett. I mean, I've known other people who do this. But TJ, but think about the Jesus. It's freak not thing. just you. Where we, we, you told us you were going to give Jesus freak the money. Then Jesus freak said, "Oh, I would not accept the money for Brett." And you never let us know that he said that, Brett. I mean, like the so thing about how, it, how is it you you're not look, manipulating? Let me just give you, let me just give Brett buddy. some scam art, scammer to scammer fucking advice here. <laughs> uh, look, yeah, Brett, DJ. this fucking look. I'm, I'm the, sure there's money in the fucking poor me dollar. Fine, I'm gonna be. I'll be. I'll be the evil fucking prick from the Bill Hicks market, marketing routine. Yeah. yeah, I am that. I don't give a fuck. I can market the shit out of any goddamn thing. If you fucking free my reins and let me do what I want. But, I mean, the thing about you, Brett, is like the sad sack thing. Like, I, to me, that's the most unappealing fucking thing yep. about you. It's just like, poor me, poor downtrodden Brett Keen, all the fucking time. No one gives you, a you shit. You know, another point. Brett, no you one said, cares. You, Brett, you said in the past, and, and is this true? You said you're, you're bedridden. You have uh, health, health issues, correct? I lay on my bed a lot. I do have health issues, but I am able to be mobile. I have made some videos where you see me going out by the shed. Sure. And okay, That's so better. that brings up another question right there. Like, if, if what about these challenges, these ridiculous challenges to fight a bunch of people? Yeah. Obviously, if you're bedridden, you can't beat up one person, let alone a bunch yeah, of people. If the, if the limit of your mobility is around your... So is this, house, just, is this just your way, like, of escaping your, your uh, predicament, your situation... Well, I, and, I think when I think when people, oh, <laughs> I think you did it. <clears throat> I think when a lot of these people out here talk about wanting to whoop my ass and all this, I I find it funny to put a video out there and say, "Oh yeah, let's do a royal rumble." So you kind of you you kind of just like a boxing it, promoter it, almost. You uh, just you were just whipping up the drama. Yeah, isn't someone here? Isn't someone here to do that? It's funny. I think there was someone sure. on this podcast that did that. What's, what was yes. his name? What was his name? Ben? That was my name. Oh, it's it, yeah. Ben? Yep. Ben? Yeah. Let's take a look at that. Some DP fans, they come in the room all the time. They ask questions like, do all you right. think you could take this guy? Do you think that you could take this guy? Blah, blah, blah. Who yeah, knows? Let's watch an interesting no, no. video. All right. But well, let's see if, let's see, let's see if what you're saying adds up well with what this is. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, Brett. By the way, you still, uh, if you use the intro again, you still spelled uh, parody wrong. Paradoy. Paradoy. Brett Keen from God TV Radio. Make sure you check out my website, God TV Radio. Brett, I don't know if it's just because I'm used to seeing you like this and whatever. And I mean, like, your hair looks better now, I think, even than here. But, like, it does. Brett, like, I honestly feel like this whole, like, the white headed dude with the big white beard, like, you've grown into that, okay? Yeah, for sure. Like, that works for you now. You can do that. The black hair thing, that's dead. I think so. That ain't going to ever work again. This white hair thing, like, you're rocking it pretty decent, yeah, right? Yeah, dude, I, I'm, I'm actually a little bit jealous because I'm, I'm looking forward to going gray, man. Because I think a, a wicked-ass fucking gray beard like Gandalf and shit, that's fucking awesome, man. It doesn't, ha it doesn't hurt to fucking pet the manatee every now and then and give him a compliment. No. You know? I mean, you know, whatever. You're looking good, Brett. Pet the uh, you're looking so, fucking good, oh, Brett. I will attempt to consistently do live shows and hangouts at 7 p.m. Uh, some of you out there, you've been really, really excited, and you've you know been what? wondering... That, that, you, can, can you pause it been, real quick? I know this uh, is tangentially related. I know we're trying to get through videos, but it's a question for Brett. Okay. You're, you're pretty nasty Like when you, when you talk about us, about how we look. 
and the people and how the people around us look too um you know you've called my my girlfriend the mutated cabbage patch doll <laughs> Uh, you've called me a fat, you know, and I, we, we've been pretty equally ugly to you, I think. But of course, we just gave you a compliment. You're looking good with the gray beard. All right, so that's that's fine. I think uh, Ben is really looking forward to yeah. this, exploring this. Of segment. course, so yeah. let's let's give the reins so over the to our up, friend Paul. Ben. All right, fine. Can, Can we put a gag order on Paul for a minute? Oh, are we gonna have this backyard brawl? <laughs> now, as I've told many of okay, you. Okay. All right. Uh, amendment oh, one. Oh, wait a minute. Hypocrisy uh, alert. No, let Ben handle this. Come on. Sorry. Settle down. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to slap the fuck out of you, Paul. Uh, Paul, do you have to leave seriously. the room, dude? Do you have to leave the room? I really will. Okay. So, uh, it wasn't going to be a backyard brawl. Um, there, there, there's so much bullshit in this video, we're going to have to pause it a lot. So, uh, I challenge Brett to an actual fight in a sanctioned fight. They do sanctioning to make sure that both competitors are in good health and that there's no bloodborne pathogens involved or anything like that. So you'd be a fool and, and to have an impartial referee and uh, sell tickets and make money and that kind of stuff. Uh, to just inject a little bit of context in what you're saying, this is after months of Brett boasting that he's going to you know, just beat a giant gauntlet right. of people. Right, right, right. Go out there. We, um... Hold on a second. We've got some assholes over there acting crazy, oh. making noise. This is when you edit your video, Brett. Yeah, so Just Brett, that out. You, you got some crazy neighbors, dude. Yeah, you, you do. What's going on with them? The screaming woman. Ah! Yeah, Brett, look, it, you, you need to like torrent. So ben, so I don't even. Ben, 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 ben it's, it's way too easy to just get distracted by other shit. I think you better just gut cut yeah. to the meat of this shit you have with Brett I about think, this fight. I think you're right. Because like otherwise, we're just gonna keep getting distracted by minutia of what's going on in his video. So I just lay into it. All right, so Brett, uh, I wanted to fight you and kick your ass because I know for a fact that in chat rooms, um, you have given away personal information of ours. Uh, you've, you've given away our home addresses in the past and no things surprise. like that. Oh, yeah, don't even shake your head. I know for a fact you have. No. And, and, and the, the funny thing about it is when people asked why you were doing it, you said, well... TJ supports AIU, so it's okay if I do this, because AIU supports doxing. Do you have a video where I'm actually doing this? You claim that you <laughs> heard me and seen me doing this. I have not given out no, your I, information. I, mean, I've, I don't I've even seen... know where the hell you're at. There's a guy who's been coming in who claims uh, to be a DP fan. He says, oh, I know where they're at if you want to do this. And you, I'm like, you... no, if anybody wants to actually fight me, they'd have to do it in my yard. It's just the way it is. And it's, it's not so much do personal. Nothing. Somebody offers they want to it's fight didn't and do nothing, Brett. to do that. Hey, Christmas is coming up. Yeah, I was there with the stolen TV set and a crowbar and shit, but, you know, you gotta it. understand, this other dude came in, put that TV yeah. there. He is, he really Tossed is. his crowbar on the ground, he just left here. He's, I'm just, he I'm left fucking like, being like, what's going <laughs> I, on, you know? I know people that you have chatted with that have, for one reason or another, been operatives of ours that have seen you... Uh, give away personal information in chats. I, I'm, I'm not even. I mean, I. You know what? And and I could show it to you, but you would just say it was doctored anyway. So, but it's like, not. Um, the the mean, worst I do is goof on for the looks and say, "Sure, I'll do a and, fight." Hold on, hold on. And people involved in this were people like Joseph Martelli, crazy ass motherfuckers that will get on a bus and come to your house. If they know where you live. So you, I know for a fucking fact if someone did that to you, you'd be freaking out and crying about it on the internet. Oh, yeah, for sure. But when Joseph Martelli did it to us, you were his biggest supporter, Brett. Yep. What's up with that? The thing with uh, <laughs> Joseph Martelli and any of these people on YouTube is the same way if you were to be talking to somebody. I don't know shit about the guy. I still don't. He came <laughs> But to you my backed him over us. And but you backed him over. Uh, you you said Joseph Martelli's doing God's work. Blah 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 blah. You remember the videos you made about it? Yeah, you. you oh, wait a second here. I didn't say he was doing God's work. I thought huh? the guy full of shit. Not God's work going out over there to aggravate you guys. No. Uh, no. That, you, uh, well, we have a video. I think I pulled a video. Uh, Oh, yeah. So we can watch that maybe after we get into we, the meat of this some yeah, more. Yeah, we, we will watch that. But basically, Brett encouraged someone who definitely has mental issues to come to a place and aggravate a crowd of 200 people. Yep. And, and he doxed us to this person. Yep. 
I, I know for a fact that that happened. Brett? Well, we no, sent Joseph Martelli packing, oh. and Brett, you know, Doc Trop, whatever. I know you're going to do And Brett, then you made, and then when it. I challenged a fight, you, you're like, atheist, always resort to violence. See, Brett. Actually, I just want to no, beat your I, ass because you did that kind of stuff. No, that, I that actually. That sneaky, told him slimy, told him underhanded him. garbage. I told him not to go do any of that kind of bullshit. I figured the guy was just fucking around or whatever, but I told him, don't go fucking around. Don't do this kind of shit. Whatever. Oh, That's not know. what we did, heard. You did, you, had, you did not think he was just you know, fucking around. <laughs> this kind of just gets back to like the larger um, tragedy of Brett Keen's existence, though. There's a line in, in Leonard Cohen, who died recently. Um, I don't know if you were a fan of Leonard Cohen at all or not, Brett, but um, he had a line in one of his songs that kind of reminds me of you. It's not an insulting line or anything. I mean, it, it's kind of a sad line, honestly. It's, um, like a baby, stillborn. Like a beast with his horn, I have torn everyone who reached out to me. I mean, like, that's just you. It's like the, the sadness of your existence to me is you're someone who obviously deeply yearns for fellowship with other human beings, but there's just something in you that's dark that has to destroy that yeah. wherever it even fucking tries to exist. Yeah, he wants fellowship it's with human a, beings, a, but what he does is he... Parrot. Pulls I mean, out a like, rabbit and, uh, and makes it blow in. Yeah, dude. Say that it's, Look at it. Uh, yeah. So he refers to his dick as a carrot. So if it, if my dick looked like a carrot, just I, suck on that dick. I would be. Uh, yeah, that's pretty a fucking worried. weird looking dick, dude. A pointy ass, fucking skinny ass. With well, like little things hanging oh, off of it. Maybe it's like if you if you jab the carrot oh, no. in the sand no, or something. It's, 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 I don't know. It's really good. The, let's watch. Okay. Let's watch. Let's watch the uh, bunny yeah, bag blowing. Yeah, he's on the carrot right now. So. Ben the bunny rabbit. <laughs> yeah, martial artist. So, damn, I, damn, uh, damn, Brett, is there you know what? there? Brett, I have Brett, a theory right, about you. Ben's right here. Brett, I have a theory about you. I don't think you could stand for three minutes on your feet without having to sit down, let alone Dude, have someone trying to you beat your ass. the bunny is like right here And I've been him. training for a year. I would beat your is ass. Is he saying Brett. that his dick is up to here? Yeah. Let me tell you that's, something, Brett. That's okay, yes. Uh, there, there, are t- there, there are three big dudes in this in this call. Um, me, you, and TJ. Um, I would not be able to beat Ben in a fist fight. And I'm a big guy. I can throw my fucking weight around. I'm 36 years old. But Ben would whoop my fucking ass. I have no idea, and I don't ever plan to find out. So. But but I think it's funny. Like this video is kind of funny. We're watching you know him chafing well, the carrot. This is shit. him. This is him pretending like I bitched out of the challenge. But it, be, it becomes when, a little less funny when you know behind this Ben yeah. he's trying to dox us and shit. Right. Because that's what I was gonna say, and then I'll shut up and we can go forward with the video. Is that Brett Keen has a very uh, he's kind of like Hillary Clinton in that he has a public opinion and a private opinion about things when brett's behind closed doors brett feels very safe in talking about how he really is and i've been behind those doors a couple of times but brett we're a little smarter than you are because some of the people that you're talking to are also talking to us always i'm still here i'm listening that's it just asking, That's all I had to asking, say. Asking if you're a mac and cheese, dude. Yeah, yeah you getting you, you make your chili order. <laughs> extra, extra cheese. He also he also says that that Dorn could beat my ass. Which Dorn. Is, oh, damn. Yeah. Uh, she's, I'm me. starting to think she's she's a bruiser. Game other than yours? No, I never have. Please call me by my given name, Dawn. D A W N. That's what we're saying, Dorn. No, someone <laughs> called me Dorn. That's what, no, we're saying Dorn. Like, what's the big deal? Who is it what's the problem? Why is she getting all huffy now? That's what Brett calls you. you. Yeah. Paul's Dorn. ego. Paul's ego. So I'll call him uh, Patty Ego? Sure. If you want to. <laughs> Dorn. Ahead. There's nothing we can do with the whole <laughs> you say. You yeah. say Dorn yeah. Keen? Say like, whatever, what, whatever. Call me whatever you want. I don't give a shit. <clears throat> he just came in and heard that. It That's activated. fine. It's not. I, I actually don't have, to be honest with you, I don't have any real anything really against Dawn. She's all you know the, the few interactions except for that one, which was Huffy. Well, you're attacking her man, dude. Yeah, you're oh, attacking yeah. Brett, dude. Oh, that's right. But she actually didn't stand up for a man. She only stood up for herself. For herself. <laughs> yeah, don't call me fucking Dorn. Yeah, sorry Fair enough. Sorry about that, Dorn. Won't happen again. <laughs> <laughs> 
Dude, I mean, like, it's, you know, it's it, we're making fun of Brett's speech. In, I don't know if it's an impediment no, it's or like if an it's just accent. an accent, yeah. but that's how you say it. I mean, like, there's definitely an R there. I mean, uh, you, you, you put an R in a lot of a things. A porn? A porn. Dawn. Lay a porn the leaves. Dorn, gorn, orn, orn, and orn. Come on, gorn. Come on, gorn. Gorn? Come uh, on, gorn. I ask myself, come on, gorn. Come on, gorn. <laughs> Come on! Oh, we actually have you here for that. Yeah. So, Brad, there was a little moment in one of your videos where you said, and I asked myself, come on, guard. You know, and it's it's like, um, so are you saying you see yourself as God, or are you just realizing that you're just talking to yourself when you pray to God? No, I, I feel like God is there. Okay. It's a very strange way to phrase that. Yeah. Um, you know, you know, because if I'm talking, if I'm talking about, if I'm talking about someone, look, and I would never like. Let me just give you an example how weird that is. I would never say like, and I ask myself, come on, Scotty. You know, like I would never, I I would never do that. I am God. Brett's not listening. You know, yeah, Brett is distracted. You said said Brett is the king of the manatee. Maybe he's tracing it back to the divine right of kings, dude. I wasn't gonna say anything. Divine rights of Brett. I wasn't gonna say anything about this, but one of the tactics when Brett has been in these types of positions before is that Dorn will show up out of out of nowhere and start yelling, and that's happened again. But it's kind of a it, it, now you can see he's he's not really having a conversation anymore. Yeah, so he's kind of been talking to Dorn as we're talking. It's kind of what happens when Brett gets in trouble. Here she French comes. To say okay. I just wanted to air it out there that. It, that I know that Brett has doxed us. Of before. course, he's a scum fuck. Everybody yep. knows that. That's why we're here. <laughs> and that was the whole reasoning for for uh, any aggression, any any act of uh, I physical aggression. I have no idea. Well, I have an idea, and I know there, there are people that have that you have put in charge of of your streams in the past. It's it's people that that you've talked to in private. So I mean, I I mean, you can't deny it. Yeah. I mean, well, you can, but it's 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 already confirmed. These are people that are still in your circle. Yeah. Well, um, I bring them in, let them sit there and say that for themselves. No, nah, we'd rather not. We'd rather find out what you're really doing, Manatee. Yeah. <laughs> Brett, you're gonna deny it regardless. Why would you admit to it? We'd rather know your fucking machinations and schemes yeah, before they ever yeah. bear fruit. I don't even know where you live. Don't even know where you live. Man. Well, you don't now. Yeah, because we moved. Yeah, because we moved. But you did before. <laughs> <laughs> but whatever. I mean, like, oh. honestly, Brett, like, I, I mean, I can see that other people here are indignant about it, but at this point, you're just the background radiation of my life, and I just expect you to just be a malevolent force for evil. <laughs> you know, it's kind of like, oh, it's raining today. Oh, Brett Keen's up to his shenanigans. No, that's because you, know. you live in Seattle. No, no I'm, just, I'm, saying that it, I'm not saying that the, he's responsible for the rain. I'm saying I treat oh. him like the rain. Yeah. You know, it's like, oh, it's just a fucking fact of life that you just have to deal with. No, we do, I, I do these goofy-ass videos and shit in response to you, but I don't want any harm to happen to either one of you. But I know I have heard on Periscope that you said that my family would do better if I was dead, and that's kind of sad. It's horrible, but... I don't want you guys to suffer. I mean, look, uh, maybe that maybe that statement as a whole is horrible, but like in some ways, I very much believe that is true. Um, but maybe maybe I'm wrong. I don't know what your interpersonal life is like. I don't know what your life is like with your family, but I know that if you behave towards them the way you do towards people on the internet, then yes, I think they are better. Let's off watch. You. Let's watch the Joseph Martelli video. Let's yeah, try let's to like to listen that. to it. Okay. okay. Let's let's hear Brett not support Joseph Martelli. Yeah. Hello, I'm still your advocate, by the way, Brent. I'm no, just holding your feet to the fire. Me. Check out all my YouTube channels. Subscribe to them. Connect with me through Facebook on Twitter. Also, uh, so, uh, uh, what was that character? Come on, TJ. Sure you check out my brother's what YouTube was it? channel. Was that Brett's mini And also mini make stroke? sure you subscribe to Joseph Martelli as well as Tommy from the Bronx. Um, Which is funny because Tommy from the Bronx was gonna beat Joseph Martelli's face in. Yeah. Uh, uh, dude, uh, uh, <laughs> dude, the moment where uh, where people start yelling, Joseph Martelli showed up. Tommy just started walking like a man with a mission. Yep. He was gonna beat mission, his fucking face, and you know what? Yeah. He warned him too. Tommy from the Bronx made a video saying, "Joseph, if you try any crazy shit, you show your fucking face, I'm gonna beat he was your on fucking our head show in." Too, and we called Joseph. Remember? Do you remember what Tommy said to Joseph that day? Joseph, let me give you a piece of advice. Stay home. Yep. Okay, don't come out here. Because if you do, it's not going to be good. Mm. Yeah, I've talked to Tommy from the Bronx on Skype as well. He's uh, He's got different views about this, but it's all good. Different views. Different views. I got some questions for some atheists out there. 
I've already pointed out already that I think it's actually it took a lot of balls for Joseph to go a five hour drive in a bus. So okay, so you so are you are commend, you you are commending what he did. You think it's a good idea? Do, I mean, do you realize like if he would have done something stupid, something I'm, bad could have happened to him? I'm gonna float I another mean, word. Like, I'll float another word than ballsy, Ben. How about crazy? Yeah. Mm, what crazy. he did was crazy. He spent. He's a. He's a. Hold on, Brett. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. He's a guy that doesn't make a lot of money. Obviously, limited mm. funds. He bought a bus ticket to come all the way to fucking Ohio From to New stalk York. us, yeah. and you called it ballsy on your channel. Yeah. If somebody There's a lot did of that to you, if one of us, if we encouraged, obviously. if we encouraged a mentally ill fan of ours. To go to your house and gave them your address, you would a, go ape shit. I'm not an internet psychiatrist. I don't know if the guy's messed up or whatever. You don't. You don't know. You can't watch Joseph two minutes of Joseph Martelli, Martelli and know he's disturbed. sick. You guys act like I'm in the little dungeon back here. You know, conspiring. No, you're not. You're a you're a hapless retard. Yeah, though. yeah. Watch these videos. Right? Yeah, yeah. You let's, know what Joseph Martelli is like. Yep. You think he's you think he's a perfectly let's, sane person? Let's hear let's hear Brett not support Joseph some more. Uh, yeah, let's hear it. If you're gonna get out of there, if something would have went sideways. He wouldn't have been able to escape. He didn't have a car. He would have had to wait on a damn bus. It took balls to go down there in front of 200 soulless primates. Soulless <laughs> primates. Got it. And deal with him like he did. He didn't harm nobody. He didn't deal with According anyone. He to ran Tommy, away. He called some names or something like that. I've seen a video where he walks past you guys and says, This is Joseph Mutelli. Yeah, no yeah. one knew it. We was there at that point. And i seen... Uh, where Pimp Monk X and a whole group of guys uh, was marching towards him, calling him a pussy. And okay, so do you know anything, Brett, about Joseph Martelli and what he did in the run-up to this hangout? And he's done it to other people, too. I, I seen a Threats, couple of... veiled a, and unveiled. Well, I mean, great. look. Yeah, uh, there was actually a number of people that did not come to our meetup because of Joseph Martelli's shit, dude. <laughs> I, I, like, I, I understand that, like you know, you, you you know, Brett, you're like the first person to act super indignant about the least little thing, you know, like oh, you were just saying a minute ago, like oh, you said a bit this about my family. What do you give a shit what I say about your fucking family? Tell me to fuck off. It doesn't matter. But when you actually send crazy people into our lives, when you fucking endorse that and support that, I'm not saying that you you don't you don't control Joseph Martelli, but you fucking told him where we live. That's cool. I know cool. you fucking did it. No, I no, did not. No, we know you did it. I'm sorry, Brett. We know you did it. Yeah, we do. You Just showed, admit it to you yourself. Showed, you showed we were having the meetup. Admit it. You showed, Come on. Show, you showed where in Columbus we were having this meetup because we had a public event page. Which yeah, he fine. also... Have he, your big Jack Nicholson he's also, blow uh, moment. He's dude. also, like, gone through, like, the videos where we were, like, going out to restaurants and stuff, and he was, like, mapping them on Google Maps and stuff like I, that. I, the guy's got tons and tons of stuff. I've seen only a couple clips where he's literally just going, I'm Joseph Martelli, I'm, you know, okay, I'm up so, in Florida so today, you, you, and that's the end of the that, video. I, I don't that's know as, about it. So that's as deep as you look into somebody that you support? Because I spent two minutes, so hold on, Brett, give me, give me one second, give me one second. I spent two minutes watching a Joseph Martelli video and knew he was sick. Yeah. He talks like a mentally ill person. He is a mentally ill person. Clearly. And you facilitated and supported him stalking us at our private residences and at private events. Yes, you did, manatee. Shake your head up and down for me. Because you did. Then, Brett, your judgment is seriously called into question if you want people to believe that. I still want to know what that character was doing at the beginning was. I know that was just. Well, if Brett is claiming that he had no idea Joseph Martelli had any mental illness, then he must not clearly evaluate people. I don't really the point Oh, oh, here's the point he's trying to make. Okay, here's the point. All right, all right, the the point. point. Joseph Martelli ran his mouth, he ran his mouth. If he just ran their mouth, he ran their mouth. My problem is, is what I'm seeing on social media, Tommy. Uh, you contacted me on Skype, and you seemed like you were a little perturbed by me saying, hey, why don't you let the guy have a break, leave him alone or whatever. Uh, yeah, we would have left him alone if he wouldn't have showed up. Yeah, we weren't. We we didn't go looking <laughs> we for didn't Joseph go to Martelli. Fucking Niagara Falls to find Joseph Martelli. He came to Columbus, Ohio, to our meetup. Uh, I think it was even said a few times, but not not towards the end. If that if he came I, there I, and was cool, we might treat him cool. Yeah. But uh, the, the, he, he shouldn't have been there to begin with. Yeah, he came weird there and he ran away. Anyway, sorry, Brett. Let's let's let Brett have go the ahead. floor for a go minute ahead. to give us more, Brett. 
been really difficult to get in there. If you guys really believe that this guy was mentally ill, which I don't know. I only literally seen a few of his videos where he's Joseph Mortelli. I'm going to be cleaning the floor doing something silly today. If you if you believe this, then why continue to say raunchy things or, or go mm-hmm. at him for it? Brett, I believe that you're stupid, but I don't believe that you're so stupid that you didn't see that Joseph Martelli was fucked up. Yeah, I mean... And I don't yeah. believe that you think anyone believes your crazy fucking story about you didn't give this fuck... We've seen, we've seen the information, and, Brett. And whether, I'm telling you right here, we've seen you do it. Whether he's fucked whether up or you not. Admitted or, it doesn't even matter. Your admission is inconsequential, but I just wish that for your yeah, own also, sake you would fucking we admit a, it. We, we covered one of Joseph's yeah. videos. Oh, this go ahead. Goes- guy he literally came into my hangouts twice and i think he was talking to us on the phone it was constantly fucking up having an issue okay he's cr- let me try it this way that's because he uses paul yes. how long into watching a, the, your very first ever joseph martelli video did it take for you to realize he was fucking insane 90 seconds scotty the same you get, i'm not ben <laughs> the same but no, even, but even if he was joseph martelli here, here's the fucking but thing. you sat in rooms with him you shut talked up, to him up, you know he's a up, fucking psychopath up, Here's the I'm not going to shut up. You, you, you're fucking... Okay, you, you talk over everyone. I've Here's barely fu- said a word. That's not true. Here's the fucking thing. Not for this last segment. Go ahead. God, will you shut your fucking mouth? I will if you go ahead and do your fucking thing. All right, here we go. There you go. We've, we've, so, we've solved your issue, TJ. We've solved the issue of TJ. We covered one of Joseph's videos on our show. We never directly contacted Joseph. We, we, we were covering him. That's all we were doing. Yeah, he made a video saying some insanely R- stupid yeah. bullshit. You know, that, you and know, we laughed at it. We he made flagged it. our video. He gave us a false DMCA. Which he pretty much rescinded instantly. And then after that, uh, you know, because he gave us a false DMCA, we started making fun of more of his videos. And then he was like, oh, you guys are having a party. I'm going to show up. He starts posting pictures of guns and things like that. And the whole time, you have his back, and then you're encouraging his behavior. Whether he's insane or not, it still wasn't a good idea for him to show up. Where's the videos with guns? If uh, Hold on. Hold, hold on. Hold on. If Brett, the, I, sh- if I specifically sh- showed you those on Twitter. Let's if the shoe was on the other flipper, Brett... And there was a crazy dude on YouTube that we had said, hey, go visit Brett, the manatee in Festus. Go visit him. Yeah, yeah, we support this guy. And he showed up and showed his ass around your house. You would never make, you'd never stop making videos about that. Now, uh, in, in, in some fairness to fucking Brett here, um, Joseph Martelli was coming to Columbus with or without Brett's fucking approval. Of course. Of course. But, yeah, but I agree with that, Brett but. did give it his approval. And That's what I'm saying. If we, we know for a fact, a fact that Brett did share that information with Joseph Martelli and, and of where we lived. Him. And, you know, I mean, like, you know, that, that to me almost seems like you, you want him to do something. It seems like people, you want him to come do so something to us. There's a there lot was of a gun people. involved. You know there was a gun involved. Don't deny the gun now. Don't be ridiculous. Yeah, we talked about that before on a show. See, I didn't see any guns, but I will say this. There's people all the time who sit there and make threats on the Internet. They see all kinds of stupid shit. I've been on for ten, I've been on the Internet for 10 years listening mm-hmm. to people make threats. I don't know who's fucking serious or who's full of shit. Yeah, but I'm, when people do it to you, but, but, you blow up like right, a fucking yeah. big... Yeah, if people, call time, you, if people call you yeah, on the bro, fucking phone and say, oh, I'm going to do dude, something bad. Well, what he just yeah. said? Hey, what he said? Brett, you just said that you almost have 10 years of experience in dealing with people. And interpersonal relationships, which is the main you part of your YouTube. You would be literally surprised how many times I have fucking just went, yeah, whatever. But there's some people they're a little bit worse, and that you right. actually yeah, you, like like someone who's willing to judge like character, someone who's right. like someone who's willing to ride a Under Greyhound bus uh, for five hours, like most of Jartelli, you mean? Yeah. You guys like those kind of people. Jartelli's videos look like they were like thirty second little skits. I watched someone. Probably- but they didn't you, didn't you see the nature of the videos, the essence of the videos, yeah. how weird those videos were? Like, then, I'm eating a sandwich. I'm eating a sandwich. Okay. Joseph Martelli. Brett, 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 Brett. Brett. Brett would you, all right, all right, hold on, what? hold on. Someone decide who's talking. Brett, Is it going to be Ben? Let's yeah. go with Ben. Brett, would you ride on a Greyhound bus for five hours to go to a place where there's 200 people that don't like you and told you not to go? At your own expense. Is I that something a sane person does? Bullshit. I didn't figure he was going to actually do any of that. You just come him I didn't him want him to get hurt. It. I didn't want anybody there You just to called it ballsy, what he did. You're in this video that we're watching. You called it ballsy. Yeah, I said it was ballsy for him to go okay. up there, but he didn't actually harm anybody. 
anybody or do anything wrong. Okay, so so he didn't, if we, but he could have. Okay, so is it okay with even you if, Tommy if said, we, even Tommy said, hey, if he would have just came up, we would have given him some drinks and invited him in and all that. That's what Tommy from the Bronx said. He could have so. killed people, Brett. He could have unloaded that gun that he posted a picture of into that crowd of people and killed people. Uh, well, I mean, ultimately he didn't, so let's... He didn't, but I'm just saying, you know, like, the, what we're talking never, about is potentiality here. Yeah. I mean, we're not sicking crazy it, fucking idiots on you, Brett. Look, we don't send crazy it. people to your doorstep. You do that. <laughs> You're I the would, fucking one that does that. I wouldn't have wanted you guys to get hurt or anything like that. Shut up. No, I don't you, don't, you don't give a fuck. See, this is what I'm talking about, advocate for Brett Keen, TJ. Yeah. He's a scum fuck. <laughs> Oh, he's I know. A, he's a pawn scum human being who would sell his mother's butthole yep. for a buffalo nickel. He's a piece of shit. But, but you know what? I'm sure he'd get more than a he, buffalo nickel. Come on. He wants, but TJ wants, I do, he wants multiple perspectives. That's I do. Fine. Look, I, I understand that Paul is going, that's why I'm being, I'm trying to be as so, uh, deferential to Brett Keen as I possibly I can. I am the advocate for the manager. There is Paul right there, and he's obviously ready to roast Bro- so, Brett Keen I'm the in So defend his position in, in, in this scenario. Oh, here. so you want me to actually lay out a defense for what he did? Yeah. Okay, I would say that uh, my client, Brett Keen, did not understand the uh, severity of Mr. Uh, what's his name? Martelli. Again? Martelli's. Uh, you know, mental condition. Uh, he, he, you know, he kind of supported him as a lark. He didn't understand the severity, and you know, this idea he gave them addresses. That's all false. That's you know, where's the documentation for that? And um, <laughs> <laughs> basically, Brett's defense. Yeah, yeah. The you know, bullshit that's about, backed it, into a corner. Plausible deniability. Come on, guys, him. it could be true that what I'm saying is real. He, no, but I mean, my, the reality here is we all know you're a fucking sleaze. Brett, uh, Brett sent Joseph Martelli, and you know, he gave Joseph Martelli what he needed. Um, I don't think, you know, who knows? If, if we've Brett, been, if we'd all been killed, and Brett, if Joseph Martelli shot up our meetup, I don't, meet up, I I don't, don't think, think Mar- I don't think Martelli at that meetup would have succeeded in killing all of us. But he could, he could have hurt some of the people there. Sure, yeah, that's that what I would have wanted. Well, you you facilitated it. Was it was balls. All right, though. so all right, let's ask. Let me ask you a direct question, then, Brett. Well, if it's not ballsy to walk if, up and, and introduce himself in that way, it that would more, It would have been more ballsy if he would have no. just blown everybody away, though, Brett. Joseph Martelli, nothing he did was so ballsy. ballsy. It was crazy, and he ran away. He ran, people were trying to talk to him, like Joseph, come here, let's talk, and he ran. Yeah, we uh, basically the second. I've never seen a, a guy that fat move that fast. He made videos all over our our hometown. Like I'm in front of the, your grocery store. Come come say something to the, me. I didn't watch all that shit. Oh, well, well, I'm well, fucking telling once you. Once again, though, Brett, you like, watch it. look, Brett, you're you're faced with a double-edged fucking sword here because either you didn't know what he was, in which case you threw your fucking endorsement behind a guy you didn't know shit about, Thought and it's not acceptable to give him. anyone our fucking addresses. I thought he was you just know, some especially not someone you think you know has a potentiality to do us harm, which I think you fucking knew that. I believe um, he was just a religious guy who was being fucked with and shit. I did not know that it was going to get this intense. He made a video that said all gay people should be moved to an island, and we goofed on that, and then he flagged do, do you, Paul, do you believe that? No. Oh, I I'm so shocked. The videos. Okay, well, he made videos in our town. <laughs> In places. Joseph Martelli oh, here. I, I'm, I'm here at the fucking uh, a, a grocery store where he, TJ you know, shops. I where you at, Brett TJ? Yeah. I don't believe that. I will say one I thing. I do, I, well, there's one thing I don't agree with you guys on, actually. Go ahead. Joseph Martelli was pretty ballsy to show up. No, I don't think no, he was. I think he was. If, if, no, ballsy, if, if ballsy, he stood no, his no. ground and, and said, yeah, I mean, I'm it's here. because of craziness. No, no, but no, he ran no. away. Crazy and ballsy are two different things, TJ. He just wanted Maybe a video. Are. Maybe they are. Remember you saw him? He was like running away, smiling. like with he, a, he didn't run like a ballsy guy. Let's put it that way. Hey, yeah. you know, I, 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 he <laughs> might not have been ballsy in that moment, but the fact that no, he What he did was crazy. Tr- what he did was insane. was ballsy. And there could have been. ballsy. There's a good chance that. I think you guys have a positive connotation to ballsy that you need to let go of because it's ballsy to me. Like, I think the 9-11 hijackers were pretty ballsy. No. Yeah. I think they were pretty crazy. See, I, I think there's just it's, as a... Ball, ballsy implies that you did something to your own benefit that took yep. guts and gumption. Yep, I agree. That's ballsy, man. He fucking stood for himself. Do we need to look up himself. the definition? Yeah, TJ? let's look it up. Not like... I hijacked that I wanna, hey, TJ, hey, TJ, Vertigo, buddy. Vertigo. I want to know what the de- actual uh, definition are we gonna, of balls is. Are we really going to look this up in well, the Brett Keen episode? Yeah, because I want to, I mean, this is a support of contention, so let's fucking take a look. Hey, tough and courageous. And courageous. Uh, it wasn't really courageous, and it wasn't really tough. No. Nope. 
to run away. Like no. a yeah, I mean, maybe if he, was, maybe if he stood his ground. Neither was it courageous nor tough to come to the city and take a bunch of weird pictures. Go ahead, Brett. All right. I, I mean, you guys have also brought up Jenny McDermott. Do you know how many times I've actually talked with her? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what's but why zero? would you support her at all? Jenny McDermott, I spent about 15 minutes in a room once talking to her before I ended up getting what is referred to as Google Hangouts night. So once again, I mean, though, I, I mean, this is like the, the Brett Keen seal of approval for someone I just met. Oh, you seem good. Well, you hate the right people? Okay. Me, Brett Keen seal of approval. Very, very long time. It's, I, okay. I have no idea. So your defense, but, then, let me wrap up your defense and see if you agree with this. Your defense is that you have a piss-poor judge of character. Yeah. I don't know enough about these people. To, right. To you have a piss-poor <laughs> judge of character. <laughs> Dude, I, you, you, know your, you throw your fucking support and your weight. Hold on, hold on one second. I'll, I'll let you talk in a second. You throw your support and your weight behind people that are crazy, retarded, stupid, possibly dangerous, because you're a piss poor judge of character. And he doesn't even know them. He's ten, I, I, he doesn't know them. I said this. Bill I'm claims he doesn't. Dude, this is the fucking. This is the William Shatner defense. I I don't know them. Oh, yeah. I don't know I, the man. I said this in video. I I have I have supported some people in the past where I didn't know them well enough. Just trying to be nice on YouTube and say, hey, subscribe. Hey, to TJ. This. No, no, no. Yes. Hey, you weren't trying to be nice. No, you were on his side because he was against us. I'm you were choosing the side. I'm not talking you, about Joseph Martelli. Okay, that. well, a lot, Jenny McDermott, too. Uh, you always choose the side that's against us. And it doesn't matter if they're fucking insane like Joseph Martelli, someone you who's going to, like... She's insane, too? She's insane? I, I, I don't know. She's not I, I, I don't know. She, she's never come to one of our hangouts, but she's right. retarded. I mean, yeah, she she is kind of strange, but... I don't. I don't have a problem with her, like Joseph Martelli, who like doesn't live anywhere near me, but uh, is all of a sudden showing up near where I live. She tried to defraud her job. That's she tried true. to get Thunderfoot fired. That's I true. mean, she's done a lot of reprehensible things. Not she's personally done, to me, though. But she's done things personally to other people. True. Look, the, the whole thing is about it is like, look, Brett. There's there's a fucking line, Brett. Okay, there's a fucking line. Like, there's things that you do. And that people like Joseph Martelli do, and that people that Jenny McDermott do, and don't try to deny them because they are of your ilk, okay? There's things no. you do that cross lines that, you know, we at the Drunken Peasants, we don't cross. Exactly. We don't cross those lines. For us, there's a boundary. So give me the reasoning, the rationale for why you feel like it's okay to try to like go personally destroy people not just defeat arguments on the internet not just fucking have let's have a fucking back and forth or a discussion or dialogue or you may be heated what makes you feel like you have the fucking right to go like take a wrecking ball to someone else or try to in your own pathetic fucking way like I said, I only had two interactions in a hangout with Joseph Martelli and I left some comments <laughs> I don't know what you thought you were going to get TJ. The classic uh, Brett pivot. I don't know what you thought it was going to go. What, is, what, 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 did, what did any of us Brett, think we were going to Why would you endorse Joseph Martelli if you didn't know anything about him? Oh, I, the I believe that he was just a, just a Christian who was angry and saying a I bunch of I didn't ask what you believed. I asked why did you endorse him if you didn't know anything about him? Because I was hoping that guys like G Man, Buckle, and some others would go over there and try to help him out with whatever help, anger. Oh, help him very, out. And then again, write your report. In this you video, need to vet people better. Oh, in this yes, video, obviously I am. I've supported in, a lot of people in the past and everything. In, that I didn't know completely. Yeah, you are. Yep, yep. That's Brett, true. You are. Brett, in this video, you endorse Joseph Martelli after he got on a Greyhound and rode for five yeah. hours. To the city that we live in, took pictures and videos all over the city that we live in, uh, giving us thinly veiled threats the entire time, and then showed up at a group meeting of our fans after we told him not to show up to cause trouble. Yeah, it's a pretty piss poor judge of character who doesn't realize after all yeah. that. Yeah, so, and you're saying you didn't know him. How did you know him? No, no, no. no. All, right, all right, Brett. Can I, can I try this, Ben? Go ahead. I'm going to walk you through a timeline, Brett, okay? So mm -hmm. you, you think it was pretty crazy that Joseph Martelli did what he did, right? That he drove, went all that way by bus just to take a bunch of pictures all over town. You, don't, you think that's pretty crazy, right? He did not watch a whole lot of his videos, like I oh, said no, no, before. But I'm just saying, in retrospect, now that you know that that's what he did, that's pretty crazy, right? The clips that I seen was him walking past the place and then some Is people it crazy what he did or not? Is going, uh, let me ask you a question. Fuck Joseph Martelli. Would you think it was crazy if one of our crazy fans took a bus 
for 16 fucking hours to go to your fucking hometown and then took a bunch of pictures and tagged you all over fucking Twitter and everything else going, I'm in the manatee's house. And then came somewhere. Hold on, hold on. Let me finish. Hold on. Hold on. You'll get your chance, manatee. Then shows up at a private function of yours. A gathering of your family and friends. Oh, oh yeah. What if, what if he shows up at one of your brother's concerts or something like that? Yeah. And goes, ah, ha, ha, I'm here for Brett. I'm at his brother's okay. concert. If I yeah, would have ahead. seen these videos that you're talking about, if I would have heard all this that you seen then or heard and seen, then I would you probably. You did. See, that's, that's, that's the point, of, that's the point I'm getting to. That's what you're talking about. You said about. it was ballsy for him to go. And this you said to subscribe. You told people to subscribe to his fucking Hold crazy up. videos. You endorsed him in the first 15 seconds of this fucking video, Brett. He cut me off. Do you actually have any videos with him holding guns up doing any of that? I'll look. I didn't say he was holding guns at home. You, you, so, is, you, you guys, you guys, Brett, direct. Brett, I would say the highlight of your honesty tonight was when you held up that Captain Morgan bottle. Yep. I wish that you would give me a swig at this we point. Saw, I really we do. saw a, a, video. a brief You don't have any gun video. No, there's all, no gun you, video. You all my videos, but you don't have the guy who's uh, armed no, to no. the teeth. We don't. He never made a gun video. It okay, wasn't look, a video. It was a tweet. He posted this. Uh, All right. Instagram. It was an Instagram yeah. fucking picture right here. Let's just fucking show Brett what we're talking about. Go ahead and make that full screen for a minute. We've showed him this already. He was on he the knows. show. He was there. Yep. But we'll show him again because he obviously needs reminding. Yeah. Right. So this was. <laughs> and this is someone saying, you're not going to do shit, you fucking pussy ass bitch. And someone said, shut up, atheist yep. fool. Oh, uh, he, he, he can't see it because he's block. He's blocking it. Oh, I'm not blocking. I, I can see no, no, you guys on the screen. I see myself. No, no, no on the I'm big talking screen. about. Uh, there's someone trying to show you here. Oh, there it is. That, uh, that was my mistake. So this is uh, on Joseph Martelli's Instagram. This is around the time he said he was going to show up at our meetup. Uh, there was some uh, thing that went up with that too. It is a picture of a gun on a Bible that was reverse image searched, and we could not find a source for it. So either that's his gun on his Bible or he found a very rare picture that I couldn't find anywhere else on the Internet. So there you go. I think it's too nice to be his gun, but I'll be honest with you. It looks like a Google stock image, um, but I was I was not able so, to. Put it so he put that out there towards you guys. I can understand the aggravation. We, uh, I should. We've I, already showed this to you. We showed this to you before I, he showed you know, up. I, I at should our confess meetup. that I do have a different recollection. I do remember Paul actually said he did it was able to reverse. Oh, maybe this. I was. You know, I think there was maybe another picture true. he posted later. It doesn't with matter. Gun it doesn't even matter. Did. I just yeah. want to get that out there yeah, that yeah. I don't think that's it's, accurate. I think it's I still a threat. Stuff. The intention yeah, behind it is the same. Right. It's a gun, Brett. And he's talking about coming to our meetups, and you're going, Joseph Martelli is a brave individual. Yeah. I had no idea that he was. You did. No, okay. Okay. I'm gonna rewind this because I want to get heard or this Joseph Martelli. We showed you this picture before. We had came. you on the show before Joseph Martelli showed up when you had him in one of your hangouts. We brought you on our show in and person. we're like, This guy's threatening us. We showed you the gun. I, this is there's a show yeah. I don't remember the episode I'm sure one of our this fans video could find that it. you're making that we're watching right now of yours was made after yes. we already told you all the, about this guy's crazy shit so don't and he even did show up don't even act like oh my god what he did didn't something I, crazy didn't I, I mean, say he, on the podcast before uh, I believe that this is bullshit no. no no you actually let you actually left us with the impression that you understood the gravity of the situation and then you made this video that we've been watching supporting yeah. what he did okay. after the fact I, I don't go back and watch it. it it's a matter of drunken pe peasants history whatever episode brett yep. we had brought so, right so in we showed him the, the guns end. is he gonna answer the question now is it, i mean isn't it well now his now his line is that the it's a google image is so it, it doesn't crazy matter. is it cr what is what joseph martelli did there's more i mean it's it's pretty clear the way you guys are talking you took okay, this yeah. seriously and I'll, he clearly showed up at the thing and yeah do you think it, do you think it's fucked am, up that we're I, I am sorry from the bottom of my heart that things went down like this it's, i apologize yeah, i think i think that you kind of knew that they were going to though no, I did not know. He, uh, I thought I mean, the guy. Was it's cold. worse than that. If anything, Brett hoped things turned out worse than they actually did. No. Yeah. No. No. Okay. I mean, I, you know, that's that's I your swear, opinion. I swear I mean, on everything that I love, I would not want you guys to get to get done that way. No. Not. Do I don't love? want any of those people to get hurt. You there? That's a good question. Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, we can hear you fine. Okay. 
I, um, I swear on everything I love, I would not want uh, any of those people, including yourselves, to get hurt. Okay. I'm sorry that this happened to you. Well, there is a dual personality going on there because there's another part of you that does want bad things to happen, and maybe you need to unite those two psyches, but kind of I think that it's just one. That's that's kind of funny that you mention that because I wanted to also bring up how Brett sometimes transposes people yeah, and makes them into one person. Like, Brett made this crazy fucking video that's somewhat about TJ's dad, but also about TJ, and it's almost as if they're the same person. Yeah. Do you remember that shit? That is a common phenomenon for him, especially when dealing with me. <laughs> Look, the weird thing about Brett is that, like, he, he kind of almost gives me this property of absorbing those around me. <laughs> yeah. And it's almost unique to his talking about me. Yep. You're like, like I absorb simple. my father. I absorb Scotty. He imagines that everyone else is living in my shadow. Like, I'm a very important figure in, in Brett Keane's life. Yeah. I'm like this giant, like, he created me in a way because there really would be no Amazing Atheist if not for Brett Keane. You're the all-father. But father. he can't destroy me. You're the all-father, dude. You're Odin the all-father in Brett Keane's mythology, dude. Yeah. But it's like, uh, you know, he created something more powerful than himself and he wishes he could put the genie back in the bottle. But I'm not going. Whoopsie. But uh, anyway. I've got a it's weird, weird idea. Though, why, why do you, why do you. perception as well. Okay, I, I well, I'm, okay, so, I mean, so sorry, correct me. I mean, I'll, I'll phrase it in the form of a question. Why am I wrong? I, I would honestly prefer just getting along with you guys as opposed to all this nonsense. That's what I'd prefer. Well, That's your, your actions I, speak that. otherwise. Yeah, I mean, Brett, do you mean to tell us that within the next week or so, you're not going to make an attack video against us? I it's mean, coming in like a day yeah, or two. Yeah, I mean. Hey, hey, guys, you know what? I mean, Let's just do this. Let's just do this. I, okay, Brett. That, Doing this shit. Well, I we, we won't say anything else about you, Brett. A after this, we're not going to say anything else about you. We're just going to wait, Brett. Let's wait and see. Because you said, like, you, you, you don't want any more conflict, right? You want yeah, him you, to be good. If you listen to some of my hangouts, you will hear me tell people I'd rather just get along right, with these Brett, guys. Than... I'll, make, I'll make an offer to you right now, and I'm, uh, I can't make this on behalf of everyone, but if everyone endorses this, this can move forward. Brett, after we drop this episode, I'm willing to fucking rescind, for, at least temporarily. The fucking manatee situation segment, and I'll wait. And I'm I'm betting you it won't be. I'm betting you that you won't be able to help, but fucking come after us before. I mean, well, we'll you, see. We'll be silent, and let's see who fucking actually draws first blood. Let's see who actually fucking can't stand the peace, and has nope. to bring things back to shit. What does everyone else here think? Or is it just too profitable no to fucking no no humanity? Right I mean, my Let's vote see. my vote is going to be no, not because you don't present a reasonable offer to him, but because I know Brett Keen and I know how it all turns out already, and it's like watching a movie I've already seen. So my vote is no. <laughs> not to be cold, Paul, but you've been wrong about a lot of predictions, especially politically, so... Oh, I, wow, playing you know the tr literal you know Trump card, you know what, dude. You know what, Paul? Uh, Brett said that you were wrong about a, a lot of your predictions about him, too, in one of his recent videos. Yeah, oh. that's not true, there, Brett. There's some stuff you've gotten right about me. I'll give you there's that. There's a lot of stuff, Brett. Yeah. I can kind of clock what you do, Brett. I don't know. I I, I mean, w I'm, I'm definitely in favor of suspending the segment for a while. I don't want to commit yeah. to doing it permanently. Because Brett, I don't either. Because Brett makes some pretty uh, interesting videos would that you, I would cover. Maybe just like a month long ceasefire. Then I don't know. Then there's no point though, because then he can just do nothing for a month and say so. No, we'll see. We'll yeah, see. What, I'll true. see. What we do. We'll I, see what I, happens. I, Scotty, so like Scotty it. votes yes. yes. Paul votes no. Uh, no. Ben, what do you think? Because you're going to be a tiebreaker. Yeah, I would have to say no. Okay, so no, that offer's not on the table. But I thought it would be interesting. A little is a little experiment, but. Maybe. It, well, I, I'm sure that it probably would have played out the way we think. There's a reason why I suggested. Oops. I was going to say that's pointless. Um, do you have any other videos we want to take a look at? We talked about a few. Because I think this Joseph Martelli thing has been I think beaten we've, I think, I, well, fucking ground. I think we've proved our point sufficiently. I think the point was proven like 30 minutes ago. Probably. But we're trying, guys. We're trying to get him to say, Look, yes, it's me. I just wanted to try to see if there was any chance that we could get a kernel of truth. admission or truth. Because I if honestly... You me, if you want me to concede that I've made some bad judgments about people in the past, I'll tell you, I've fucked up a lot of times... Uh, endorsing people that just turned out to be shit okay. or bad. Well, Brett, it's very easy to to make vague concessions of like wrongs were done. I'm asking you to I'm asking you to take responsibility for specific things you did. I'm asking you specifically, like my respect for you would increase 
if you would just admit here on this show, and I, I, I mean, no legal repercussions will come out of this, okay? No, we're not looking to sue I'm you. not looking to fucking sue you. I don't give a shit. But just admit it, that you it, gave Joseph Martelli it, the fucking addresses, because you fucking did, and we know you did. No, I did come not. Come on, Brett, that. please. Just for, you for your own sake, for the sake of your own fucking self, just admit the truth, I please. No idea where the you hell claim, you guys lived or live or any of that. You claim to be a theist. He won't. The Move truth on. shall set you free, Brett. Is that true or not? Just do it, man. We know it's ha- we know what happened. Hey, Tell me the truth. I don't know where you guys live, and I will not have any interest in causing you guys trouble like that. I don't want anybody to get hurt. So or- when we lived in Ohio, you did not do any yeah. dropping. You did not tell anyone else anything about us. That's, that, that is your claim, correct? There was a guy who came into my room mouthing off, but I kicked his ass out of the room. I said, I don't want people doing that. It violates terms of service to sit there and do shit like that. So you did, so, so you did see the information, but then, then, you, yeah, then, then you're saying... When you saw that information, that you kicked him out the, immediately. The guy, he come and he said that he knew it's it's recorded. You guys can see the hangout. He sat there and said, this, "Oh, I know, uh, this, you know that." All right, well, like, anyway, I guess we're moving on. Cause, well, uh, I I just want to point out there that the the information that I was given it was not in a hangout. Mm-hmm. It was in a chat, and screenshots were shared that gave personal location information. There's people away. out there who imposter me. There's over a hundred Brett Kings <laughs> on Skype. There's, if this you look person, on Google Plus, no, no, tons no, no, no. of people the person, are pretending to be me. The person we're talking about is from within your circle. Yeah, of the person, yeah or the at person least we're talking was about at one point. Is, it was not at anymore, one point, but close at least to you. at this time they were close to you, and verifiably and so. And actually, uh, when you were kind of goofing around with us about the money, uh, you know, demanding twice as much and all that, uh, and then we were like, fine, we'll just get other people on here. To, and we'll give them some money. This person actually uh, reached out to me and wanted to come on the show. So, Brett, I actually wanted so, to ask you about that because your brother actually did come to me and say that he was interested in doing the show. Um, my, my brother, I actually asked him if he'd be interested in doing this. He said, sure, as long as he gets paid and all that. He doesn't mm-hmm. really want to talk about, you know, questions having to do with me. He'd prefer, you know, promoting his music, which is understandable. That ain't going to happen. Well, that's, then we're not having him on. That, I mean, the only music. reason we would have Justin Keen on would be to, I mean, we would let him promote his music, I'm sure. Sure. If he yeah. wanted to talk about his band and shit. And, yeah, we'd do that, but we're, we're having him on to talk about you. Yeah, that'd be the point. Well, I mean, that's want, the whole point. What do, you want to, what do you want to know about it? I'll answer. Uh, Brett, okay. you, we, you've shown time and time again tonight during this All right, let me give him, call that we can't trust anything that you say. So Yeah. So, Brett, uh, you taught your brother how to play guitar, right? I taught him some chords. He's actually mm. a... No, you, no, 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 you didn't say you taught him some chords. You said you taught him how to play Crazy, Crazy Train, Train by Ozzy Osbourne. Like that is not a beginner's song from my understanding. I have a guitar player right here. Ben is a very ta- Ben is an also. Do you have a, a guitar, talented- Brett? Could you pick up the guitar and play some Crazy Train for us right now? You know. Oh. So, uh, Brett, you don't play guitar huh, anymore. I think you guys have actually heard me play Symphony of Destruction. I'm more of a keyboard player. I do okay. keyboards, but I taught him some chords whenever he was a kid. Taught him a couple songs. Also, uh, the intro to Slayer South of Heaven and. Um, so let me ask you an actually productive question, um, of or a song. question that may be productive for you. Like, why don't you take all this um, this bullshit that you <laughs> just spew online? Why don't you just put that into your music? Like, why don't you just make some fucking music, Brett? Why don't you just put your torment in your fucking keyboard and fucking become a fucking musician and do that? Because like, you're not successful as a YouTuber. Why not be not successful as a musician instead? I don't already have to did drag that. people down into drama. <laughs> Yeah, we actually got one of your videos here. It's just a time when you just gotta you gotta stop, you gotta hang it up. Why? You haven't done it for YouTube, even though that time Brett. has come. Come and on, Brett, sing along, man. You know you know the lyrics. Yeah, everybody loves this song. Yeah. Brett, I'm gonna say that the first minute of this song is probably your crowning achievement in life. Yep. This is the be- This is Brett at his best. This is the best thing you're ever going to do, aside from creating <laughs> me. Sorry. No, I was trying to... He can't... No, no. One thing about Brett is he I, he honestly can't help be, but be flattered by that. But because he... I mean, I, maybe because he knows it's tr- it must be true if we're saying it, because we hate him. Yeah. Don't repeat it anymore. Stand on the authority that he's giving you and say, Lord, I believe... Yeah. Yeah, we don't know the next one. It's still catchy, though. 
it is. And what kind of father will judge you and condemn you? Uh, <laughs> yeah, man. Mothers on crack. Babies in dumpsters. Brett, if you had an entire album Men beating women. Men beating women. I always joked. I always wondered, was that just you writing about your, your, your household affairs or... <laughs> Anyway, um, no, Brett, I'm serious, though. If you had a fucking entire album of, like, songs that sounded like that, I mean, I'm sure you probably stole it from someone else, but just, you know, steal it and, and fucking tweak it and, you know, whatever, and I'll buy it. I'll yeah, buy I'll the buy Brett it. Keen CD. I pay five bucks, five ninety nine. Yeah, I pay, I'll buy, I pay, I'll buy I go a, better, I go nine ninety nine. There's There's the part that's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It'd have, yeah. Du- it'd have to be a double album for me to go nine ninety nine. I mean, if there's 12 tracks... No, about, it'd have to be a dub album. Nah, I don't know. Five ninety nine, I'd pay. Come on, you know. Look, think of all the fucking times you've had with Brett Paul. All right, maybe. Uh, I, maybe think about all the I fond memories. Would, I would on. probably pay yeah, nine. Whatever, dude. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I mean, I've given him uh, plenty of money already. <laughs> no shit. So I mean, you, you know, you're. You, I feel like at least uh, you're. You're earning that. Uh, you say you're gonna. What are you gonna spend the money on, Brett? You say you're gonna spend it on Christmas stuff, right? My my money, anything that I make, it goes to my wife and children and my brother mm-hmm. and sister. Not this time, though. Well, I mean, like I'm talking about uh, this money. So this yeah, is- this 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 time yeah. you've already given a thousand dollars to Jesus Freak. Right? He already gave Jesus Freak a thousand dollars. So according. he's just recouping that, basically. Oh, okay. That's making so. him whole again. Money well, goes I mean, I, g- I, I gave him two hundred dollars for that recording too. So you're two hundred up anyway, even with the Jesus I, Freak I, donation. I can't believe that there was a possibility that this wouldn't go through and this wouldn't happen. And I did sit down with my wife and the kids. I said, "Look, Freak's got a daughter who's in a bad way." I do want to tell you guys. I don't oh. know. Oh, so wait, wait. Dawn is the fucking matriarch of the household. She Dawn. controls all that stuff. She is the controller and the master of the household, yes. I exactly. fucking, you know, I mean, when she came in earlier, I was suspecting that, dude. Brett's a sub. Because I was starting to look, I was looking at Dorn, I was looking at Brett, it's like, man, it ain't Brett punching Dorn anymore. If anything, it's Dorn punching Brett, yeah, dude. <laughs> Brett, Dorn gave me some of that southern woman sass, too. She oh, came yeah, in, don't dude. you call me Dorn. Don't you yeah. be calling me Dorn, honey. I don't want to hear that word. I, my name ain't Dorn, my name Dawn. Yeah, dude. That damn, why did, dude. Why I felt th- bad. I was like, sorry, Dor- uh, sorry, Dorn. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> sorry, <laughs> Dorn. Oh, it was it was crazy. But Brett gets to call her Dorn all he wants. Yeah. No, but I mean, I, I you know, it does. It, you know, so like Brett, you're basically saying like, you know, you had to go when you wanted to give the money to Jesus Freak, you had to go to Dawn and be like, Dorn. Well, of uh, course. I think we're going to give this money to Jesus you're, Freak. Yeah, TJ. When you're married, you you sit out and you you talk with your family. I've been, about the I've thing. been married before. Um, oh no, Brett didn't know that. He's never talked about that before. Yeah, your failed marriages. Yeah, my failed marriage and Paul's failed marriage. Yeah, we're not as good at marriage as, yeah. as uh, Brett is. Brett, Brett does have us beat in the yeah. marriage game. You know, so you beat us at something. It's good. It's real good. And uh, Paul, you beat me in marriage too. So congratulations. Because uh, yeah, it's a, a contest. I had a long well marriage, aware. right? So yeah. I'm I'm the mid- middle guy here. You're middle of the road, Paul. I'm the and, meat uh, in the sandwich. Yeah, you know. You're the heel of the bread. It's all good. Sorry. How how did you how did you make this song, Brett? Did you use uh, some sort of software? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, what was it called? I used Cool Edit Pro uh, by the company Centrillium. The program no longer uh, goes through. I think they call it Audition or something now. But yeah, I just put some beats together and uh, attempted my weak sauce of rapping at it. So there it is. It's supposed to be rap. That's not. It's not well, rap, but. Yeah, it's it's not a you know OG. You stuff. sing though. At one point you go, I cry and I plead all this pain. Yeah, yeah. it's most not a rap it, song, baby. Most of this it's. An, I always I view it as an industrial kind yeah, of. Yeah, like this is an industrial ballad, dude, about how how Christianity is a corrupt, upside down, money grubbing cult. That's that's what this song's yeah, about. Yeah, kind of in the vein of like uh, an early Nine Inch Nails. So I was at, I wanted to. We, we were thinking about remaking this song, Brett. Uh, would you, I don't. We don't want your. I don't necessarily need your blessing, but I guess it'd be kind of cool to have it. Would you let? It, would you? Would you endorse us doing that? Taking this song since you don't even believe the message anymore. You know. 
it's some of the to... some of the lyrics in the uh, the video I still agree with. I still believe that there are some churches out there that rip people off and hurt people very much. It's all I about the money. All, all, all it's all them. about the money. It's all First, about the money. Yeah. Yes, Benny Hinn, for example, I can't stand him. Peter Popoff. Of course. Yeah. Well, nobody likes those guys. Well, yeah. some some people do. Some people send them money. I guess there's some people that do. Some retards like him. Even Brett knows. Man, those guys are scum. Oh, scammer. <laughs> scam alert. Here it comes. Listen. In the bowl, Monday. right, Brett? In the church, they pass I got the dochi to the left hand side. <laughs> you guys are sitting there just singing it. I am, I'm, I am shocked, <laughs> dude. It's a fucking, me- it's a thing, dude. We want so we're, we, he asked you before if we covered this and we're like, hey, we covered Brett Keen's father. Do we have the Brett Keen seal of approval to do that? I I found it pretty interesting hearing you saying it, but I Sick. like I said, but I don't agree with anymore. Some of, of course. Them Sick. All Brett right. Keen stamp. It's got to happen now, fellas. Yeah, dude. It's all about the money. It's all about the money. I think we could actually do a badass cover of that song. Oh, yeah. yeah we we can tear that song up. And Paul, you should definitely do the vocals for that. I you would recommend that. You got that nailed down, dude. Do it. Oh, some heavy metal guitar by Ben. Yeah. It's all about the money. Mm-hmm. You like that voice, don't you, Brett? You use that a lot. Yeah. yeah. Awesome sauce, the boss. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Brett's all very, I'll rip off your head and shit down your neck. I think he is, dude. He's flattered because I'm such a fan. I know that he goes, oh, yeah. Brett fucking Keen. Brett Keen hour. I told you he can't help but be flattered when we're actually complimenting his shit. It's the witch <laughs> hour. With the oh, stallion. Oh, no, Brett, I mean, like, I would say legitimately that is a good song. Uh, Yeah, there, well... I, I mean, it's not, though, the whole thing is not strong all the way through. The work for a good song is that. But, I mean, there's some good shit there, though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but, I mean, like, yeah, yeah. I feel like that's the t- case with so much of your shit, though, Brad, is, like, it's like you got, like, maybe, like, 70% of what needs to happen for it to be a thing, but then, eh, didn't quite form. So there's, like, a seed of greatness in this, but yep. you didn't quite bring it to maturation. Like, you lost interest too soon or something. Maybe, maybe Brett can can make a, a quick cameo vocal on the final song. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you can just it drop it. on. Yeah, yeah. I guess it depends on what part of the Brett Keen cycle we're in and, yeah. and how we, he's we feeling be, towards us. We might us. be feuding again at that point. <laughs> Are we I still mean, feuding now? I was just calling him a reprehensible scummy piece I mean, of he knows the he knows the fucking drill. This so is Brett Keen, though. It really is. The, 20 minutes ago, I was screaming about how he's the lowest pawn scum on the universe, <laughs> and now I'm stoked that he's going to let me cover one of his songs. What the fuck is wrong with me? What's wrong with you? I don't know. Uh, Paul, there's definitely something wrong with you. Dude, here. there's a compelling, you know, like, look, let's face it. There's a compelling fucking element to Brett. Uh, y- y- sure, but th- to the degree Paul takes it, mm, I, don't I don't know, yeah. man. I mean, we're I don't not know. all historians. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. Paul, Paul, Paul's a little Paul, obsessed. Paul, yeah, I'm, Paul's I'm a, little, a little obsessed with yeah. you, Brett. I, I will admit it. Yeah. I have followed you way too closely. I mean, I'm not like, I don't have a shrine to Brett Keen in my house or anything, but I've watched way too much of your content, man, over the years, so... Whatever that's worth, I guess. Look at the shit-eating <laughs> grin on his fucking face, dude. But you're boring, Paul. Remember that. You're boring. I'm the boring You're one a boring guy. Yeah, you're around. on your way out, Paul. Present. You're on your way out. Sorry, guys. This is my last episode. Yeah. I'm fired. Hey, can I say something to Paul real quick? I have Please. said on Hangouts, they say, uh, people have asked, do you think that there's good things about Paul? I actually do enjoy your stories. I think you do sure. real good at the stories. Thank you. Did All you right, see? Rock on. Did you see where uh, we were in front of a live crowd and Paul told a story? Uh, where you guys were sitting in seats? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. Uh, I I got to see a little bit of it. The audio though was kind of rough on it. 
Yeah, it is, it, the, the audio is not great. It's like a cell phone video or something. Yeah, it's yeah. not the greatest. It was, I mean, to be there, it was pretty electric, though. Yeah, it was, I it can was, still hear it. I can, <coughs> you know. Yeah, it's, 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 it's clear, Paul. There's something lost in recording, though, like of a live sure. thing. Sure. Like that, especially I mean, like, with like such low quality equipment. If we would have had a, an actual sound guy, we could have recorded Man, also, from we the board. All, yeah, we, we should have been able to, but that, that was their fuck up. Anyway, yeah. that's neither here nor there. Yeah. Um, So, uh, what are we doing from here? Whatever you want. Look at the videos. Uh, I think, video. you know, I, I told Brad he'd be here for about two hours. It looks like he got about 20 minutes left in his uh, time here. So pick, pick whichever one you think is a doozy. You do it. Me? Yeah. I mean, the titles um, kind of say it all here. Uh, how about the amazing atheist threatens God believer Brett Keen? Oh, wow. Mm. That's, that's he always does that. He always adds like their religion in front of their name. Dude, it's a very Trump tactic, actually. Like crooked Hillary, yeah. God believer. Well, Brett the thing Keen, is, like you know. Brett is so focused on, oh well, this person's a God believer, this person's an atheist. Dude, was I brilliantly ahead of the curb to do that to myself? Maybe I was. Maybe so. Because it's not like I'm a magician or anything. You can't be like. People can the best people can do with my name is like I guess they can say like you know crooked TJ or some crap like that but like when they're fucking top of the amazing atheist it can't be like the rest you can do is like the unamazing atheist. We can also watch the scams video. Whichever you want, play it. Just get something going. Yeah, scams, 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 Paradoy, I love it. Every time now. You know. God. You guys, isn't there, a, there? There's some. There's some that you know. Paul reminded me of. That's that's a really good point. Um, Brett. Uh, I've noticed a lot of times you said. So you, so you said you suffer from a mild case of agoraphobia, correct? Yeah. Can't drive, and, and it's hard for you to stand for long periods of time. Would you say, you know, like you, you you need support? Like, you know, we'll have to see you in this position. Like, you're kind of like laying on your stomach, and you need support, right? Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes. Well, would you say that's that's how often would you say you need that? Um, often. Often. often yeah. Very often. Okay. Um. So the thing we're, we're curious about, and we know you're not going to answer directly, but. You claim to have a job, but in what job can you not stand, not move around? You have problems interacting with other people. What sort of job would that be? And I know you say you won't, you won't ever get into specifics of it, but from our perspective, it just seems like you're unemployed and you just don't want to admit it, which, hey, I mean, there's plenty of unemployed people in America for so, a variety of reasons. For some of the reasons. stuff I'd be willing to uh, talk about off of air. I don't want millions of people sitting there hearing what I'm doing. But, but, but Paul, but I Paul took a lot of shit for history. other stuff I talked about in the past. I don't want to put myself in some kind of problem. Well, how, why would there be a problem if you said, okay, for example... <laughs> I was a carpenter. I worked how, for Starbucks yeah, I for eight for a, years, yeah. and then I, mean, I worked for a school district how, how does in California for eight job, years. How does revealing the job, your field, reveal? Some, some of the stuff I deal with is things having to do with the Internet, which means <laughs> it would be very easy for uh, not nice people to access and give a problem to. So I so would be more designer? than willing to talk about some of that stuff off here, but not what a million okay. people watch. All it. right. Yeah, I mean, like we said, we didn't expect really an answer, but it is an interesting point to bring up. Anyway, um, yeah, let's take a look at this video this where I scam King, people. Brett Keen's wife. Just Here? want to let you know, ratings are available, but the ability for you to view the ratings has been disabled. Yeah, bro, why do you let people look at your ratings? Problem. So be nice. Why yeah. not? I mean, like, I think he's... I think he's since rescinded that. You have rescinded that since? No, he takes them away still he sometimes. Does. And the comments. Off and on. It's, so, it's, it's, it's Brett, like why, everything why, else in Brett, Brett very... Why, why don't you let the ratings be the ratings? I mean, if you get more downvotes, whatever. By the way, by the way, guys, these joints are a mixture of Granddaddy Purple and Tangy. Ooh. Oh, dude. Can you imagine if you did a triple threat joint with Tangy, Granddaddy Perp, and fucking ACDC? Dude, if Brett... Oh, yeah, I could do that. Brett says he's never fucking smoked weed. He's, we know he's no, lying. No, no, no. He said he did when he was younger. Oh, okay. But man, you gotta come. You gotta come fucking smoke some of this shit, Brett. Not with us, because yeah. I don't want you here. But oh. you don't want to hear. Like, if you come to Washington Brett's... in general, you what? know, you, think you can smoke some make weed. It to Washington yeah, it, State, honestly, or California. Go get hey, some California, can, Brett. They take transfer the, manatees all over the country. Take dude. the kids to Disneyland and get you some of California and get high, man. Tell me you don't like it. That's true. You go to California. No, he'll he'll. 
He smokes weed. He knows, he does. That Come pipe, on, dude. You don't. Tobacco stays oh, lit, Brett. Whatever, dude. That shit eating grin. Brett, when when you People smoke a tobacco you pipe, you weed. light it once, it stays lit, and you puff on it. It's okay. A we weed pipe you have to keep lighting, and that's what you did in that video. Can you explain to me why your tobacco kept going out and you had to keep lighting it? Probably because it's extremely cheap ass, poor people tobacco. Okay. Mm, I don't buy it, but all right, rock on. I had an uncle that smoked a pipe and smoked I've cheap had, ass yeah, pipe I've tobacco for smoked, years like, and years and years. Old anecdotal Paul. You have to roll your own with his uncle. And, they, and the tobacco uncle stays lit, Brad. Still smokes a pipe. Yeah. Well, they, plus the, the like pipe, pipe is dirty. It's a cheap ass pipe. It gets shit and dunk. <laughs> Plus, without the teeth, you get yeah. spit. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Resin, resin builds up in those pipes. Mm. Yeah, that's true. that's true. He always gives us. He always gives us shit about uh, like him and Van Helsing. You know how, you know how we'll resin. get him. You know how we'll get him eventually is like we'll, we'll fucking say some shit that only like weed people would understand and wait for him to be like yeah. Him, him and Van Helton when they were like watching your periscopes the other night were just like they kept talking about how we smoke so much weed and stuff. It's like weed is like a totally legitimate product here it's a, it's a it's a real business yeah like brett yeah. i can go into we go to the store what do you i mean what do you think about that brett what do you think about the fact that i can yeah. go into a store and just buy weed like you like anybody can buy anything like are you against that are you for that what's your position politically on that if position. you have one situation well i i think that people are the masters of their own destiny it's your body do what you want to you know okay it's, I'm at it. They Do want you think it should be legal for well, as a political issue? So, so yeah. but I'm, I'm getting that you feel like it should be legal, right? Well, I've actually said in my rooms how far am I willing to go with this, and I say if people want to do whatever they want with their body, do it. It's so you, the, you're 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 for, you're saying you're for the legalization of any drug? You know, you think people should just be able to do what they crack. want? I also if they, think if they make bad decisions, decisions, it's on them. Out, I think the people who are in prison for this type of shit should be taken out of prison. I agree. Yeah. I agree okay. Too. So Brett's like a libertarian. Yeah. He's kind of a libertarian on the drug issue. Uh, who knows if that'll stand? But probably not. But we'll see. He does. He does make fun of us a lot for being druggies and shit. Well, I mean, oh, like, so in, dope dope dope. in that in that answer though, there was like that contempt of like, well, if people want to destroy their bodies, like you're like his body is like doing so fucking well or some shit. But you know. Um, it's the back of for me up. It's it's ruined my health. So yeah, yeah that's dude. the reason. But weed stopping. is not tobacco. Yeah, you know what? You, you've been off smoking that weed. Dude. I mean, I smoke tobacco too. I'm trying not to. I but. mean, Brett, if you really smoke tobacco, you'd be better off smoking fucking weed. But I mean, I don't believe you that that's the case. But we'll see. Anyway, let's get to this fucking video. God bless and have a wonderful day. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Brett Keen from God TV Radio. Make sure you check out my website, GodTVRadio.com. Uh, God. Also, if you get a chance, connect with me on Facebook and Twitter. I just opened up a new community uh, channel on Facebook where um, anybody can join. I just want to, I want to remind everyone: this video was released on a channel called God TV Radio. Smoke signals, telegraph, and, and 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 we're about to hear all of God's wisdom in this in this uh, video Lord's here. Lord's wisdom, right? Because that that's what your channel's about, right, Brett? God. Well, I wouldn't say that everything I say is wisdom from God. You know, I've, okay. I've, I've what percentage of your channel do you think deals in any way <laughs> yeah. with God? If you had to take I, a stab I, at I it. it, I think a lot of it does, and that's one of the reasons why I just. <laughs> Work things out with people and not spend so much time making the damn drama shit. That's <laughs> why I've, I've taken a lot but of Brett, my. I mean, come on. That's I been, see your channel the opposite of that, Brett. But you've made this shit for 10 years. I mean, like, honestly, like, you, the way you act, it's very, it's kind of strange because the way you act is like, this is the fucking meat of your channel is doing drama. And then there there's some God shit on the time. side. That's how we see it. There, there was you, a long time where I didn't do this until the. Mm -hmm. No, the videos responding to drunken peasant stuff. Define a long time. How long of a time years. was that? Years. Years. Oh, no, you you did drama shit before drunken peasants. What about like uh, I, vlog rays? Oh God, dude! And, you want to talk about drama before the drunken yeah, peasants? Yeah. Yeah. Hi, my name's Paul Zigo. I catalog <laughs> this shit for no money. Hi. You, you, you've been in drama thing. since the almost the beginning of your channel, bro. Well, he's he's admitting that, but he's saying there was some long before we came along. Before that, there was like a two or three year dry spell. No, is that true? No, that is that is not completely true. Un there's never been longer than a year 
with Brett Keane that he wasn't embroiled in some major fuck up drama. So there was a year. So he did go for a year at one point. You feel like no, it, no, it, no, it, never, never a year. What is never, the longest period never. of time he's gone without doing drama? I mean, in your opinion, there was a, there was a point in time where for about six months I didn't see a Brett Keane video. Okay, so that may be it. If you Brett, if you call when you first asked me to come on the Drunken Peasants and it was like a. I guess a 15, 20 minute cameo where we're just talking. I was totally respectful and nice. Didn't have any videos up. Because you had nothing uh, but to gain from that. Getting your name out there. I mean, why would you be anything but respectful and nice? Well, I was being nice because things were cool. And then the next video came out. Remember, end of Brett oh, Keen? No, no, no. The, things were never cool, Brett. I, I'm not speaking I, for. Oh, I, 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 things were cool between things you happen. and me. <laughs> the last time things were cool between you and me was like 2007. Well, there there was the time where he secretly recorded you. Yeah, oh, the things yeah. were not cool at that time. Well, I, I record. That's what I do when I think that there could be a possibility someone might try to screw me over or do some shit. And you right. So you thought I was going to screw you over in the course of a private Skype conversation? We, we actually did. You actually I did. did do something. What I did? Yeah. Okay, I did hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What is, what is this, Brett? What do you do? Yeah, let's talk about it. In, in the conversation, you asked me about my teeth. You said, uh, where did your teeth go? And I, and then you asked me, how do you feel about the way you look? And I told you I, I'm real, uh, it's a sensitive issue for me. Next okay. thing I know, within the next two weeks, I'm being asked to show off my fucking gums and all this shit. So you have <laughs> you, that recording? Do you have that recording of me saying that? Where do you think you, it came up with the whole gum job and the manatee? I'll tell do, you. Do you have that recording? Because you recorded this conversation. You're claiming I said these things. You have the recording, right? You could. I, I do up. have some recordings. I'd have to go through it. All right. Well, why don't you go through it? Do me a favor, Brett. Go through it and put that up on your channel. And if you do, I will apologize to you publicly. How's well, that? you were the one that asked me about it. You said. So what if I did, and you have a recording of it, produce the recording of me asking you about your teeth and asking you about how the, how you felt about the way you looked, which I don't think I've ever asked a human <laughs> being in my life. <laughs> if you've got me on tape saying, <laughs> hold on, but wait, put your hand down. If you got me on tape saying that, upload it on your channel, call it whatever you want. Paul's ego scams the drunken peasants. And if I, I watch it and, I and, 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 and I had that conversation, I will apologize to you. All right, Brad, go ahead. Yeah. You don't remember the conversation where you were telling me about how bad your ribs were hurting. You were yes, I remember that part of the conversation because at that time I had I had pleurisy. Okay, hold on, Paul. I want to hear. I want to hear. What, what are you saying? Where are you going with this, Brett? It was uh, for me. Uh, I considered most of the conversation very friendly. Towards mm -hmm. the end, though, you said, "Paul, um, I don't think I could ever be your friend. I don't think I could be cool with you." And I said, "Well, I'd like to work things out with you, Paul. I'd like for things to be cool." Okay, but and, where was the part where Paul said the things you're saying? He why, said, "Is why I jumped on him because he doesn't have it. He doesn't have a converse. He doesn't have a recording of." But they have to see an example of that too. Well, the, the audience you, has to see that too. On your podcast, you have asked me over and over. So, what happened to your teeth? I don't know. You no, 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 no. We're, we're, no, no, no. You're claiming that before all that happened, you have a recording. You have a recording of me saying, "Brett, what happened to your teeth?" And you saying, "My dad punched them out." And me going, "Oh, whatever." What? And then me going, well, "How do you feel about how you look with your no teeth?" So you have that recording, Brett. You're claiming you if have you this have recording. me recorded you, saying you, that. Find yeah, it. You said, "You said, Brett, why do you hide behind your microphone?" Because I was doing videos where I was sitting behind my microphone. Okay, so that's a little different. So what else did I say? You, you but, said, but, but, so why are you doing this? And I responded with, I am a little insecure about people seeing uh, what I look oh. like now. That's the reason why I was doing my videos where you just seen screens instead of me on it as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. But do you have, okay, but the question is, do you have this recording that in question? Do you have this? I have tons and tons of stuff sitting in a folder. But do, you, do you have this specific you recording have, that you're referencing? Yes, I'm pretty sure. You're pretty you're sure, pretty sure yeah. you have it. Okay, well, okay. When you, if you produce that, and in your own time, in your own time, whenever you produce that, yeah, no time if you can, you, can, you have our permission to put it on YouTube, and Paul will fucking publicly yep. apologize. Well, I'll I give that, you yeah. permission to publish that full conversation, Brett. How's that? Well, you, you have my apps. It's a private conversation. If you want me to do this, but like I said before, I'd prefer publish to just it. move forward with shit. No, oh, I, prefer, okay. I prefer to examine the, the duplicity of your past <laughs> before we move forward. <laughs> <laughs> because if you you know what Brett I'm a pretty easy going guy you may not know that about me but I don't let people put fucking words in my mouth 
I don't let people say I said something I didn't say and then walk forward with it. So if I said those things, produce the recording of me saying them, or go fuck yourself. <laughs> there you go. There's your ultimatum. All right. But, I mean, you don't have to, you, you know, you're probably going to choose go fuck yourself. But, um, I don't know. Or there is a third way. There's you a third ad- way. You, you, you could admit that you're lying, that I didn't say those things. You, you could do that. Like- in the recording, but you brought it up on okay, the podcast. Okay, so publish the recording. Let's get, let's get to the okay. meat of this, which is that Brett is saying that he told Paul in confidence about this teeth thing. Mm-hmm. Right. And Paul is saying that Paul figured it out on his own through his own uh, like, I skills knew, I, I and knew, shit. I knew his Brett, own, I knew his Brett own was observation. losing his teeth well before Brett thinks I did. Because I saw it. He would he would have a moment in a video, and I'd be like, there's no tooth there. He also, he also made videos saying he was going to the dentist. Yep. I, I remember being watching a live hangout that you had where you were like, oh, got to go to a dental situation. I really got to get a tooth and another tooth pulled. So whatever, Brett. Um, go ahead and produce the recording if you got it. And if you don't, go fuck yourself. How's that? I'll put we it up as you want to, but um, you have you my yes, full yeah. permission yeah. That's what he's saying. and blessing to publish that entire call. to see the evidence. Call. Yeah, that'd be I, great. Like I said, I was interested in moving forward, and I was willing well, to stop you, you, in the videos. Okay, well, until, until you sort all the right, well, hold on. Past, like, you can't move yeah, forward. Yeah, like, to move forward, there has to be an untangling of the shit. Like, there, to there needs to be, like, a resolution to conflict before progress can be made. Interestingly enough, Brett, I'm interested in moving forward as well. I want to know whether or not, you know, maybe I misremembered something, or if Brett Keen is a reprehensible scum fuck like I know he is. Well, I mean, both could be true. Sure. I mean, it could be that you did, you know, he did say something. Maybe you don't remember it because you were fucking stoned or I something. I was fucking way stoned, and it was like three in the fucking uh-huh. morning. So maybe it did happen, but I don't, you know what? I, have a I don't think clear, it did either. I don't think it did. Go ahead, Brett. You, you said you were going through a lot of pain because of your ribs. And I you was. You actually said that you needed to get up and... And uh, I think get something in order to help I, you with pain. I was smoking a lot of pot because I don't take uh, I don't take uh, barbiturates, so it's, I was smoking a lot of pot. I'll put it up for you, but it's really not that big of a damn deal anymore. It bothered ahead, me that no, it's it's a it's a big damn deal to me because you're saying I said something I don't think I said. So put it up. I'll put yeah, it up. I mean, I mean, like basically, you can't. This is the thing, Brett. You can't uh, attack Paul's character and say. Paul lied about this stuff, and then say, "Oh, but we just got to move past it." No, like Paul did this. Pa- did. Paul did this thing to me when he didn't actually do it, or maybe he did. Maybe I did. And if he did, Let's then Paul needs to fucking come to account and say that he's sorry to you. And I will. Yeah. You know what? Because I'm That's a man. Of my and word, I guarantee right? you that if that fucking footage exists, Paul will come to you and he will fucking tell you in all fucking sincerity, human being to human being, that yep. he is sorry for what he fucking did. It's not footage. It's just the audio. It's a recording. That's it's fine. I don't care what it is. Skype call. Yeah. I don't think it exists. If I say the things that you said in this video that I said, which was, hey, Brett, what's up with your fucking teeth? And you told me the story about your dad. You didn't talk like that. You were very friendly in the recording. You were like, so, man, why why do you talk behind the microphone now? Okay, well, whatever. Just produce the recording. Yeah, because okay. I mean, that's not what you said earlier. So. All we need to, all, you know, the only thing that's going to resolve this is either the recording manifests or it does not. Yep. Yeah. And either way, and we have I'm our in fucking the wrong, answer. You'll get a mea culpa yeah. from me if he's Probably. in the wrong. If there's the recording, the, the recording solves the issue. Why, why do you guys think that all this gum job shit even started in the first place? Because I, I mean, noticed that you Paul, lose Paul, your teeth. Paul observed. Because, because I noticed a years of time ago. Because we were talking. Teeth. We were watching. Paul observed. I remember exactly how it happened. We were watching one of your videos. And Paul said, you know, he even talks different now. And I'm like, why is that? And Paul said, oh, it's, I think you don't, I, my, my theory is he doesn't have any teeth under there. And their gums are just flat. And I'm like, oh, that's weird. I didn't even believe it at first. I'm like, nah, nah, nah. Nope. But then over time, I mean, it turned, I, I, you know, that's why I fucking offered the thousand dollars in the first place. I wanted to know. I was curious. I'm willing to, I'm a guy who's willing to pay a thousand dollars to fucking scratch an itch. I still, even for, like, Forever ago, Scotty, sh- or no, she was Ben that shushed me when I asked you what that fucking character you were doing at the beginning of that video was, but they were on the rampage towards that Joseph Martelli bullshit, so I couldn't even figure it out, but I, I was, I'm still curious even now. That's fucking how much I'm willing to pay to fucking settle a curiosity, so yeah, I, uh, that's how it all happened, okay? That's how the fucking story played out. 
I, I'm still serious. It's like the uh, the call and whenever okay, you Okay, then hear, fucking produce the recording. Hey, It'll be all be resolved. I yep. be able to move produce forward. the recording or, or maybe you don't have one and rescind your fucking words. That's the options if you, you want know, to move forward. Another hey, thing Brett keeps hey, doing is he, he keeps saying that we were supposed to pay his brother for some John Cena thing, and we've explained to him over and over and over again. Yeah, you didn't qualify. That that's not what we asked for. Nope. We asked for a video of you dressed as John Cena doing the John Cena thing that he does when he comes into the ring. And then we we're like, oh, but he can't use he can't use John Cena's actual music because that's copyrighted. So why don't he do you know why don't hey, why don't he have his brother make one for him? Well, I but thought he was, should have been compensated. He did a, a okay, lot of hard well, work. There. If I do shit, if I do shit without okay, well, if I do shit that you didn't tell me you were gonna pay me for, right, I'll tell you what, you guys can be compensated if you take that fucking existing footage of him playing the music. And you sync that to you doing what you a we ask you to do, which is do the John Cena thing, then I'm happy to pay the money. But I think if, if, if nothing else, Brett, I've proven to you, I'm willing to give you money. It's more than most people are fucking willing to do for you in life, honestly. Yeah. Also, Brett, do you not acknowledge now with all the money TJ's given you that he's more than compensated you for the thousand dollars? Because you're you're claiming because of Patreon's fees you didn't get the full thousand, but he paid you the money. Brett cannot deny at this point that I am a man of my word when I say I'm going to do shit. Maybe well, I don't always do it on the best time scale, but I always fucking get it well, done. Also, you were paying him the the what like roughly seven dollars a yeah. month after that. I'm I can no I still <laughs> I, I said I was going to rescind that I fucking went to cancel it and I'm like ah eh, too much work. So so, so I've been paid continuously him. paying. You've paid him. The I I pay, bucks by now. I pay Brett Keane $6.66 a month, which I'm looking at, you know, I mean, I, I usually support people I like. Uh, I don't really like Brett Keane, but I've made a lot of money watching his content. And, you know, there's something about him. There's something about that kid, you know? Something, something about, about him. Something about that. Got a man. shine to him. He got, he got, yeah, a little yeah. glimmer in his eye. Something about just, that. You know. Something about that old manatee that makes you think that, man, there's a spark of intelligence back there behind them <laughs> eyes. Yeah, there's a spark of something. I don't know spark if it's intelligence, but <laughs> I don't even know if it's malevolent. It that's is. Where, no, I don't even know. See, that's where it, you're. It that's where. See, you're this wrong. is where we differ. This is where Red we differ. Dean is out to fuck you. I, I know, I know, but I don't know if it's necessarily out of malevolence, though. I don't. I don't know. It is. No, I have my own theory, but maybe I'll so, share it on a different so, day. So, so, so when, so when Brett's like, "May is an atheist," I know where the manatee thing came from. It's your ex-wife, Holly. Yeah. That's not malevolence. Nope. That's just him. no, 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 just Brett. No, no. There is malevolence is a byproduct of Brett Keen. Okay. okay. There. Sure. I know that you've actually seen the carnival video out there where an atheist was sitting there saying that. Mm -hmm. okay. You left the con so you know that uh, they had said this. Okay, so why do you? What, okay, why are you saying it? We're not talking about them. We're talking about you. I'm saying that this is what they said. I personally, uh, um, I, I, no, Brett, no. come on, that's you just a, that's just a it. cheesy ass Fox yeah. News tactic in the first place. You say Shitty. things like "carry through other people." It's the same thing. We, the entire Pokemon Hotline evolved as a way of make fun of this. You say things through proxies that you don't want to say yourself, so you don't have to answer for it when you're put in situations like this where you actually are grilled. And by oh, the way, the we see you doing it. You're not as smart as you think on that <clears throat> shit. The oh, manatee so girl. The manatee strengths, Brett. Play the your manatee fucking came, from underage girls. The manatee mm. thing came from when you were making your face all blue. You looked like a fucking manatee. Yeah, Brett, <laughs> Brett, wasn't it an amazing coincidence that you had people call into your show that had this information about TJ and Paul that was very negative about them and claimed to know them? Yeah. Hmm. Um, kind of oh course. yeah, that that guy that went to high school with TJ. Yeah, yeah. yeah the, the, I'm the from Louisiana. Yeah, what's up? I'm from Louisiana. This is how people in Louisiana talk. The random atheist chick that has since disappeared off the face of the fucking planet that claims I solicited underage nudes from her. She appeared, that was made cute. accusations, and then vanished. That was cute, Brett. <laughs> that was real cute. No, there was a team. You're not as See, slick no, as you on. think. TJ, this is what I'm talking about when I'm talking about fucking malevolence. Oh, yeah. 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 Because you know what? He Accusation. calls everyone a pedophile. No, hold on, hold on, Brett. Accusations of pedophilia. He did that to Happy Cabby. He can did it to ruin TJ. a person's fucking life. He's done it to so many people. Malevolent. He wants to fuck your corpse, TJ. Oh, I know. Jeez. No. I know he does. No. He would nope. like nothing better than to see you pilloried. And subjugated before him, and that is his one fucking desire in life: is to have you on his, on your knees, you know, before Frank like, Keen, begging him for something that you but need. But Paul, Paul, it's kind of like you know, if you have like a a venomous fucking, it's, it's kind of like uh, Ben's little dog, you know. 
She thinks she's like attacking you or something. But you're just kind of like fucking dog, eh, TJ. He's a human is. being. He's filled to the brim with fucking guile and malevolence. I don't care. He's stupid. There's no guile and low. And there are many people like him in the world. There are. There are. Um, but you know, whatever. Can it I ask you? Then, I mean, which is it? Do you guys think I'm a complete and utter retard, or I'm conspiring? Right, so everyone give. Maybe this is the point in the show where everyone gives their assessment of Brett Keen. Sure. So on an individual I, I level. Since we're, since we're nearing the end. Paul, we'll save Paul for okay. last. Okay. okay. I'm want sure to go first. very fair. Yes, yes. Very fair? I think it, I think it is fair, Brett. I think it would be more than I've fair to you. i for 10 years, buddy. I'm going to be Dude, more than fair. there is a fucking... Look, okay. you see how giddy Brett Keen gets when we're a fucking talking about something we actually like? Like, mm -hmm. the faintest praise of fathers. Like, oh, it's me, it's me. Brett Keen is fucking... Starving for approval. Okay? He's starving for some sort of acceptance. But he's also... But it's, it's to the point where it's, like, unhealthy. And it fucking just eats him alive inside all the time. Because if he doesn't get that constant approval... Like, you see it in his relationship with, with Dawn. You know, that's why she calls the shots. You know, he wants to be told good doggy. That's what he wants here. I'm, no, I'm comparing him to dog again. He wants to hear the good doggy thing. But he doesn't hear it because he's a shit dog. You know, like he just fucks up left and right. Nothing he ever does is right. So he's just super bitter, super fucking... That's where the malevolence comes in. Is he pathological, too? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Pathological liar. Can't accept the truth. Probably knows it himself, but just doesn't want to admit it to everyone else. He, he wants to have a good image in other people's eyes. And he's just really clumsy about trying to create it and cultivate it, and that frustrates him because he's not perceived the way that he actually sees himself. Because I think in Brett Keane's mind, he's this very noble fucking figure on some level, and that everything he does that's rotten and evil is just like serving some greater good of his own ego. Uh, that's how I see him. What would you say, Paul? Well, I'll let, I'll let other people fill in. Okay. Uh, ben, Scotty? Anybody? And do you want to go? You know, I I agree with pretty much everything you said, especially I the pathological thing because. Well, he, you brought that up. I just yeah, I add to it. Yeah, I agree yeah. With that. I mean, like, he, it seems like you actually believe your own bullshit when it's so even even in the face of mounds of evidence to the contrary. Even if he maybe he knows it's bullshit. Maybe he doesn't. I don't know. I think he probably does, but one thing is for sure, he doesn't want anyone else to know it, but he's so clumsy in the way he tries to hide it. It's so transparent. There's, with Brett, there's just, it seems to me, a, a lack of honesty, a lack of uh, integrity, a lack of credibility. I mean, Brett, you've, over the years, time and time again, been embroiled in scandals. You've been embroiled in feuds with people, and yet you deny any sort of role in this. You deny any culpability in this. I mean, I think the conclusions we're drawing are fair of you because of the, uh, the actions uh, that you've demonstrated time and time again in your behavior. And these are things you can't just wish away or say it's not true. I mean, Brett, these are what things you've done time and time again. So I think everyone's really honestly been more than fair to you and give you been more than gracious to you, Brett. I don't think you deserve the respect that's been given to you here today. I don't think you deserve the compliments that have been given to you here today. Because you have uh, demonstrated time and time again to be only true to yourself and your own self-interest. And I think that's kind of the position you found yourself in life is not being very successful in what you do because you don't build strong relationships. You don't really support uh, the people, in, I guess, in the YouTube community that could help you. You start feuds with them. You fight with them. You know, whereas you could probably build a lot stronger relationships and help yourself and learn more about the positive aspects of video making and your content. And you've never really seemed to do that. You've just seemed to devolve to the lowest common denominator of let's just argue drama, and have drama. Fight, bitch. And I mean, if Brett, if you really want to excel beyond your current station, you should really reorganize your priorities because the priorities you have now are all wrong. Paul, it's the balls is your the bar uh, barn is yours to burn down. Paul, go ahead. Um, I agree and disagree with all of you. Um, I think that some of you give Brett too much credit. I think some of you not enough. But in the end. Um, I'll reveal something about Brett that I've never even told anybody in this room. and Because I, I just didn't really think it was all that pertinent. Or maybe it was something that I wasn't proud of. I know a lot about Brett Keen because I've watched him a lot. And that makes me a good historian. But I have people in my family that are like Brett Keen. Not my immediate family, but my extended family. And interestingly enough, my extended family on my dad's side, which is where these people are, are from Missouri. 
Um, Brett has a very typical lying, huckstery, Missouri hustling rube thing about him that I'm very familiar with. And there is an absolute one-eyed malevolence to it. Because if they got to tear you a fucking new asshole to get a peg up, they're going to do it. If they got to gut you publicly, they got to call you a pedophile. They got to sick a fucking sick retard on you. They got to go behind your back and false flag your shit, DMCA you, whatever they can do to, to hurt you and still have plausible deniability, they'll do it. The only thing that keeps these people from being a horrible force in the world is that they're too dumb to ever get anything done. They fumble at the fucking goal line like Brett Keane has done his whole life. Whoa, whoa, I made it. I'm about to get a touchdown. Fumble. <laughs> Fumbleia. Turnover. All right, Brett. Why, do you want to speak a, a, a fucking get, word in your defense here? Do you want to give here? the manatee the last word? Yeah, I think, it just, I, think, I think after all this, it's fair enough to give uh, Brett... Yeah, the final. I'll word. even mute us. How about yeah. we? Yeah, we'll mute ourselves. Even if we say something, yeah. you, then no one will hear Thanks it. Thanks everyone for watching. Brett has the final word. Brett, the floor is yours. All right. Thank you for having me on the show. All right, Brett. Thanks for being on yep. the show. Good night, if that's everybody. That's all you have to yep. say. Good night. Great defense, Brett.